And we all sat around and prayed to God. And that was um, that was my weekend. Madeline. Welcome to episode number 11. Is it 11? Yes, correct. Of the Marty and Michael Fully Actual podcast. We're going to do our best not to be quite so grotesque because all our videos are getting age restricted. We don't mind the demonetization. But age restriction, we will not stand for it. <laughs> because it lowers the views so dramatically that there's no point in even continuing, darling. Did last week's one was okay? No, it was fine. It was fine, but I started like... I'm starting to think maybe that's something to do with... Here we go, Michael. This, this should help with the age restriction. Shit! <laughs> Um, I think I, it has I, something to do with my opening sentence sometimes well, being a bit Well, I have rough. been saying it all last season and this season. Oh, that the oh, opening Matt, don't few try minutes. and take credit for the I'm idea that I've credit. just had oh, yeah. to oh, calm it down a little bit. Have a whiff. All right, we've just started, as you can see by Michael's giant scab on his arm. Go and hold it up to one of the cameras. Go and show what we've been done. Age restricted. We've been fucking filming website content again. And man, we filmed a fucking banger. There was a one where there was a punishment. I'm not going to tell you who it oh, happened wow. to, but you know the potato gun? We filled it with human shit oh. and, and fired at one of us. And let me tell you, it what? It hurts. It hurts a lot. It's, it, the, the, it's truly shocking the damage that human shit can do when fired out of a potato cannon. Especially when it's like one meter away. Into your skin. Yeah. Infection, surely. We'll see. We'll see. Jury's still out. My big clay brown. My garden brown. It looks perfect. We got a jam packed episode. We got Jess and Maitland coming on for a little bit to have a chat. All right. And we've also had a bit of a chat. We, look, we sat down, the three of us, and we had a look at some of the analytics of our p podcast this season, all right? And we noticed very distinct dip for the who's the better, better brown segment. Like, a lot of you kind of skip that. So, guess what? It's cut. We've and cut Matt who's will the now better apologize. brown. Matt, do you want to please apologize to everyone? I'd like to apologize to everyone for the brown versus brown segment. Um, I like to apologise for winning for so many weeks in a row and then losing it all. Right shit idea, was wasn't it? It was a shit it was idea, Max. It was shit idea. idea. Hit yourself a, a bit. Idea. Hit yourself like that. Yeah, that's it. Fucking really despise yourself. There's too many browns out there. Wasn't enough money. And like we're giving away 200 bucks a week and you guys don't really like it. So it's taken a back seat. The other thing we've also noticed... The horoscopes and reading out Matt's horoscope in particular. Oh, there's not a there's not a dip, but it's sort of there's no spike like there used to be. And to be honest, my heart is not as invested in the horoscope compiling as it was last season. It's more invested in the Tinder adventures now. We got to make room for that because that's and, huge, and it's very time consuming. Like I literally, like uh, for every conversation that I read to you guys, there's probably ten that aren't worth reading because they'll just unmatch and I lose the entire conversation. So it's very time consuming. So we've decided that uh, there will st I'll, we'll still do horoscopes on the weeks where we don't have guests. But I'm only going to do Matt's horoscope because Matt has specifically requested it. He no, wants no, that no, information no, no, out no, there. No, no, no. Don't want so the horoscopes aren't gone completely. They'll only be here for guests when guests aren't here. If you horoscope. disagree with any of this and there's outrage that the who's the better brown is gone, let us know in the comments because we don't know. Right? I, I can guarantee, I reckon... People be will be hardly, happy. Yeah, yeah, people will be, be happy hardly, about that. Yeah. Like, I hated that segment. Matt was the only one pushing for it. So oh, hard. Oh, please, please, God. I oh, need it. I need it. More brown. Oh, brown, brown, brown. Oh, 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 Banging his hands on the walls and fucking cunt. Yeah, and there was a girl brown on last week and you were particularly happy about that. Yeah, yeah that was good. What else has happened? Michael and I tried to film a video on the weekend, right, where we got professional special effects makeup done to make it look like we have wounds on our faces and then we went out into public to try to freak people out but what we realized right was that it just like the wounds were they did look really good but they weren't gruesome enough 
because people just it just looked like we'd been in a fight with someone yeah so we're going to go even bigger we will put it out probably backup page yeah, shout out to sarah mutal she helped us with that yeah she and, does um, really good special effects so, and and we we specifically re- requested we're like oh don't go too gruesome because it'll get removed from social media but we realized we're not going to get a reaction unless like, we've got like half our fucking face hanging off so you got to go big so we're going to go do it again we're going to go big so that we spend our entire sunday fucking do- filming a failed video not to mention that today tiktok will get a notification saying that our main marty and michael account with 3.6 million followers has been permanently banned i'm not sure if that's true or not because i posted a video like after that so i'm hoping it's just a glitch i've reached out to everyone at tiktok but that's fucking terrifying man it's like it's <laughs> yeah. very stressful life being in the social media world and all because we had like like four videos removed over the last four months and two of them were from the store announcements videos oh god and they get removed for like for nudity and for sexual harassment which there's none of that in there so i'm thinking it's a fucking mistake but tiktok's just really shit at getting back to us so i'm hoping it's a mistake and i hope that we don't lose our tiktok and so everyone pray for us and keep our fingers crossed because there's stress coursing through my body and I'm feeling my little heart doing a little tickle, tickle and going, oh, what's going on up on your brain? You do want a little flutter, flutter? <laughs> what, you want a little flutter? What are you pointing outside for, Matt? I saw somebody. Yeah, um, Mon- Mon's here, all right? She's dropping the van back off. Uh-huh. Do you want her on? Do you get her on the fucking podcast? Yeah. Is that what you fucking want? Yeah. You watch, you won't want to come on. Go tell her to grab that microphone. Oh. Oh, I thought you had a fart yeah. too. A fucking fluff. Give us an English accent. Oh. Go. <laughs> so, Peter's got the bread in the yard. Peter's got the bread in the yard. Oh, that's not bad. I can do it when I think about it, but yeah, not on the, the pressure. S- isn't but it was it? the tit melting one, like sentence that got me. Yeah, it was a bit too much, wasn't yeah. it? A bit too sexual. I want some chocolate cake. I can do it all day. What are you doing? Oh! Ah! Get off! Get off! I can't escape! You're ruining my outfit! Oh, look, we have Mon here. There if you want to hold that one. Mon here, Tempura. No, she can just talk into this. She can just talk into in, this, Mon. <laughs> what is that? You gotta lean right in and talk <laughs> to it so that people can hear. I don't trust say, you. Say hello, everyone. Oh, Michael. <laughs> say hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. So, we're getting married in four weeks, and I'm getting a. Used to our last name. Don't say it on air. I don't want anyone to know what it is. Oh, yeah. When do we find that out? It is. It's what? bad. Yeah, it's not a good last name. But well, why but, do it then? What do you mean? It's not a good last name. So well, change it's it. It's better than Brown. Please. Actually, um, and um, Mon, I just wanted to show everyone that Mon's here. Um, and there she is. Buy a cactus. Yeah, buy a yeah. cactus. Do you want to shout out to your business? <laughs> If you need a cactus, Mon's CCL on CCL underscore cacti crazy, on Instagram. Crazy cactus lady. <laughs> CCL underscore cacti. Oh, yeah. It does stand for crazy cactus lady. Oh, my God. Did you only just figure that out? <laughs> yeah. Is that what it me- is meant to yes, mean? I just thought you liked CCL. It sounded like CC's, the bag of, you know, I just, I just made that up. I didn't know that either. And it's so much fun preparing for weddings, isn't it? We're having such a fun time organizing it. Oh, Have we're you having written the such vows a ball. yet? No, she's really stressed about that and it's all so much fun planning shit. <laughs> Everyone have a laugh. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks, wow. babe. Okay. I love anyway, you. Mon, see you, you soon. See you, Mon. See you see soon. Mon. Bye. Now, what the fuck what? are we talking about? Failed pranks? Oh, yeah. So I was going to say, why don't they just um, why don't they just not you know ban videos why don't they just let anything go on there wouldn't that be an easier option than oh man you're preaching to the choir man yeah. I, I like we're, we're literally a choir the australian orchestra so and and you're preaching to us right now <laughs> <laughs> and tiktok's shit but anyway if you want to support us please like comment subscribe to this podcast five star review on spotify and subscribe to our fucking awesome fucked awesome fuck yes website we have some big news there too don't we michael oh we can't really talk about no, it. no but it's 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 out next month i'm saying it it's it's the the new website will be launched at some stage in may all right the new website will be out finally if it's not if the website isn't out by may 
We will. I'll cut a pinky finger yeah, that's off. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say. Maybe I'll probably go a toe. I'll probably no, no. Actually, a pinky. I don't need a pinky. I'll cut a pinky finger. I'll off. cut half the top bit of my pinky off. I will remove it if it's not out in May. I've so, only so seen like three or four website videos, so I will not be. Also today, we've got the website reviews from Matt. We realized that we filmed this before the podcast comes out for you guys to comment on for like the latest one. So we're just going to pick one, which we've picked. You laugh, you lose two. Yeah, we we'll thought that that's later. Not, yeah, because we can't. Because we're last week we were like, oh, comment which website video you want Matt to watch. But we're filming this one now before we, that podcast has come out, so we don't know what you guys are going to comment. So we just picked one we thought that you guys would want. To and it watch. did actually get the most votes in our group. Yeah, I did a poll Facebook, in there yeah. the other day. Yeah, so. so like that is technically for clients. And Matt has client. now watched that, and he's going to review that website video after Michael reviews his fucking shit movie that Matt yeah. gave him. Yeah, shit. Movie. Other than that, we got Matt versus Michael, we got Jess and Maitland, we got Tinder Adventures, and we got a whole fucking fuckload of fucking prank calls, cunt. It's fucking crazy town up in here. Let's get up to Let's the turn sponsors, the grill up. cunt. Let's turn the Let's grill up. fucking turn the flames up, cunt. Fucking get the gas burning, you fucking dumb bitch. <laughs> 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 oh, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Gotta aim away from the cameras, you. No, I, I want it. I want it in on the mic. No, but you've got to aim your bum away from the cameras. Shut so. up! <laughs> <laughs> I like holding muggles. Oh, like, dude, you gotta right smell against that. the skin. Yeah, I like that too. No, I don't want to smell. Oh, it, oh fuck! Oh, right against the skin. Thank all right, should we? Uh, should we actually do? We'll do the sponsors before we go to a fucking bong yeah. break. All right. So just put the bong back down and turn no, well, turn look, the. Okay, have a quick bong. All right, we'll go on. Bong break, bong break. Finish your bongs. And we're back and Matt's up in arms and do you know why? Because Athletic Greens has 75, 75 nutrients in it. Like some people take a supplement in the morning, oh, it's a bit of zinc, it's a big a bit of magnesium. 75 in one, in one satchel or one scoop, once a day, and you are fucking improving your health to no end, cunt. Mm. If you want to go on Bender all weekend and fuck yourself up and then you feel all guilty and shit, you may as well subsidize some of that with some athletic fucking greens. It's proven. It's scientific. We've done the blood work. It actually fucking works. It fills you with energy. It does these things. I'm not fucking lying to you, cunt. I wouldn't be saying it week after week. Leave comments. Leave co If you've taken it, I, I, I am so confident in this product that I dare you to buy it and leave a comment. And if it's shit, I'll fucking hit Matt. I'll hit Matt as hard as I can if you think it's shit. Yeah, yeah, I back that. Yeah, I'll get Matt too. We will make Matt on the mat. We'll fucking drop the cunt if you don't like Athletic Greens. It's a monthly subscription. It's like a hundred and fucking thirty dollars AUD. It's one scoop, a drink a day, plus vitamin D and a travel pack and shit. Athletic Greens slash fully actual. Okay, our discount code fully actual. I don't even think it's a discount code. It's just a code to let them know that you went there via us. But you get a free travel pack and it's fucking good, man. Yeah, help us help you and then help us too. And it is just, it's fucking good. This dude was, who made it was like nearly dead and then he made it and now he's like off all meds and he feels heaps good and shit can't. It's like, you know the people that think that they're healthy because they take multivitamins? Like they're, that's shit compared to this. Yeah, this is so bioavailable. It's powder, so it absorbs so much quicker. It's and like- It's like an energy boost. Feel good straight away. Yeah, so I had one today. We got a pack back. Oh, thank you. Yeah, they we got new. They sent us some new supply because we like, literally ran out in I have like so two quickly. Or three a day. Yeah, sorry. So fucking athletic greens slash fully actual. Matt, fucking hell, Matt. What the fuck? What's the bone you want to pick? No, oh, so let's do. Let's okay, fucking yeah. get this out of the way because this concerns Matt too. Yeah, true. <sighs> All right, everyone. Um, whoa. <laughs> what angle am I going to come at you with today? Maybe from up above you, I'm going to tell you what you look like as a person who has built themselves up from nothing, from nothing but scum and failure. 
That's what me and Michael used to be. We used to be bottom of the barrel, hairy, fucking, ungroomed, poor pieces of shit. Okay? Now look. Michael is currently using one of the Manscaped products, a nose hair remover. You shove it up your fucking nose and boom, your nose hair's gone. Have you ever fucking spoken to a grown man and you see the ends of his oh, nose hairs fuck it coming out me. of his fucking nostrils? Do you have any idea how oh. disgusting that is? We would never go into business with anyone with nose hair protruding from their it's nostrils. Sick. You fucking cunt. You are a fucking cunt if you have nose hair coming out your yeah. fucking nose. I, Do you hear me? Yeah. A fucking cunt. You have so much to live for and I'm hovering above you from my place of success, shitting down at your furry mess as you lounge on the lounge, eating your PC and grease and chip all over your fucking belly. You're not doing anything. You're not doing anything with your life. You fucking get manscaped. Look how easy it is, huh? Look on YouTube right now. I'm just shaving my leg. One, two, three, four. Four, five, half my leg is shaved! You have no excuse! You have no excuse to go to manscaped.com slash fully actual 20 and get 20% off, okay? 20% off just like that, and you will improve your life. Come and soar! Come and fly with us in the success clouds and get out of the fucking mud! Mud! Get out of the mud, you hairy cunt! They also have ball wipes, which is so handy for when you're fucking drunk and horny and need a prostitute, but you're self-conscious because of the odor. <laughs> it's so handy. And it's also for women. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we highly recommend that you make money in any means possible to pay for Manscaped. I'm talking. I'm talking street prostitution. Yep, that. I reckon if you can... If I'm someone, talking armed robbery. Like maybe fucking if sell like fucked up vids of yourself hurting yourself. Oh yeah, I've done that. And like then... Dark web. And then you go to Manscaped, use our discount code FULLYACTUAL20 and shave your way to success. Trust me, it works. Yeah. All right. Um, oh, what's shaving my body hair going to do? Shut the fuck up and try it. Everything else you've tried so far has failed. So just try it. Give now me suck me off, cunt. Now fucking <laughs> suck me off, you fucking cunt. I wouldn't be saying that to you if you was shaved. But you're not. Now suck me off, cunt. Suck me off, cunt. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so that clip is going to go to... Matt, just do it. The police. Can you just do it, Matt? Hey, do uh, it for the... Fucking do it for the say video. It. Say it. Say suck love. me off, Count. No, suck us off. <laughs> Come suck, us suck us off. off no, no. Why? Oh, fucking pussy, bro. Hey. Do it for the fucking ad. Do it for the fans. The only fans? Anyway... Sorry. The other sponsor, of course, is our subscription website, which really funds everything. There's Facebook and YouTube. They don't like to give us any money because they don't like the content we make. So the website is literally all we have left. All right. And we post weekly videos there of the shit that we love doing. And the video out right now is, is, uh, is high hiking. We got fucking, we went hiking into a bush that we'd never been in before. And every five minutes we had a fucking huge bong. Man, things this, went, We filmed this last year, by the way. Yeah, this is a good... This is honestly... It was my favourite day filming. And ever. we came out at a graveyard. We literally yeah, popped out at a graveyard. How the fuck does that happen? Where did you go hiking? We can't say. We can't say. But it's like... It's it's not like a pain... It's, it's, it's a vlog. It's more of a vlog. But we are baked as shit the whole time. And we turn into like... I think I know why. Destiny Warriors or something like that, I guess. But yeah, over 250 website videos on there and we're about to switch to a brand new website. So fucking get ready. Shit's about to get a whole lot better on that website. It's like Carmen Electra. It's coming. And we're so excited to switch from this basic shit format that we have now. There'll be search options and shit so you can actually search for the videos that you want to watch. 
So you have to go through the 250 videos to find. It's it's just it's a lot of good shit coming, and it funds our lives. And this podcast wouldn't be around without it. So Matt, sorry, I imagine the game Pong, but it's like the second one of that. Pong two. Okay. I think. Bup, 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 bup. And that's the sponsors. Fuck yeah! All right, guys. Should we have another bomb? Yeah, break? I reckon it's time for a big, fat, juicy one. Pack it thick down. Push it deep down into the cone. And then when it's full, get a bit more and sprinkle that on top. Yeah. Get yeah. some of the dusties out of the bottom of the grinder. <laughs> <laughs> sprinkle that on top, cunt. And then get no. a low heat and no. fill your fucking lungs, cunt. No. <laughs> bong break! No way. By the way, 92 days sober without any alcohol or drugs. Just a little smiggle of weed uh, yesterday and um, fucking uh, just a little smiggle then. Mm. What about your Valiums? Mm. Mm. Yeah, look, I've had it. I, had, I did in, over the last two weeks uh, while I was receiving some test results, I did dabble in the Valium. So Valiums aren't drugs, Matt. Okay. And like, bro, bro, like, look at me, bro. I'm, I'm like, I'm fucking picture a health con. Mm-hmm. Are you guys ready for the most fucked, important segment of our entire fucking world? Oh wow, we're for Kleiner there. It's time for. What is it? Matt vs. Michael. Matt vs. Michael. It's Matt vs. Michael. It's Matt vs. Michael today. <laughs> And this is where Michael and Matt go head to head and they battle each other for the most important bottle of mints that any man has ever created. Oh, here it sits. Here it sits among us. Oh, it is it's pure. It's like sucked in a bit. It's God water. Angle. It's God, it's God water. water. All right. The competition today for Matt vs. Michael is... Who's better at spelling, 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 spelling? These are the rules. And now listen closely, Brown, for I fear if you don't listen, you will claim misfortune at the yeah, end. Yeah, I will. <laughs> All right, you will paper, scissors, rock. Whoever wins gets to choose if the other one spells first or if they want to spell first. With one person spells the word first... If they get it right, the next person has to spell the next word. If the first person spelling the word gets it wrong, the second person has a go at that same word. And if it's both wrong, Mm -hmm. we move on to the next word. If one gets it right and one gets it wrong, it's one nil. Okay. Do you understand that? Does that make sense so far? If you both get it right, it's still zero all. So it has to be one, know the word over the other. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. All right. Paper, scissors, rock to see who goes first. But you're like a little academic at school. Yeah. Scissors, paper, rock. I swear it's just basic shit. Oh, so we got to go scissors, scissors paper, paper rock. rock. Okay. I'll go first. No, he won. I yeah, know, but he'll let me go first because he's scared. He's nervous. I can feel it in the Does it the matter ground. who goes first? It doesn't really, does it's it? It's completely up to you. You Could might be think an it's an advantage because you might know that if he gets something wrong, oh, that's definitely a wrong way to spell oh, that well, word. He can go first. Oh, he's nervous. <laughs> oh, all right. The first word is conscious, and I'll use it in a sentence. The girl Matt was dating was barely conscious when they got home. Oh, fucking Okay. C O N S C. Yeah, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Keep going. So conscious. C O N S C O U S. Conscious. 
And that is incorrect. Fuck! There's an. Oh, I know what I did wrong. All right, Matt Brown. Same word. Shit. Conscious. Conscious. C O N C I O U S. Incorrect. You're both incorrect. Wow, we are both a clear. You both were one letter off. It's C O N S C I O U S. I fucking skipped the I like a dickhead. All right, still zero zero. Oh my god, that was dumb. Next word. Who goes first? Back to you, Michael. (laughs) Next word is knowledge, and I'll use it in a sentence. Matt's knowledge of concrete surpasses any man knowledge k n o w l e d g e knowledge that is correct all right matt in order to stay in the race here you must now spell this this word correctly your word is Probably something shit now. You watch. Evacuate. Let me use it in a sentence. Oh, he did the the entire nightclub had to evacuate after Matt Brown had an erection. Evacuate. E V A C U A T E. Ding! That is correct. That is correct. Wow. Well, well done, everyone. <laughs> did you not know that one, Michael? No, no, I was surprised he got it. Yeah, I. I <laughs> Proud right, of you, Michael. Your word is nauseous. I'll oh, use it in a sentence. I'm sorry, Michael. I feel that's not fair. Nausea or nauseous? Nauseous. This is how I pronounce it. Nauseous. I've never heard that word. Nauseous. The, the, oh, nause, nauseous. You can say it like that okay, too. Yeah. Sorry. Nauseous. The girl was nauseous after Matt Brown suspiciously bought her a drink. Holy shit! I'm gonna go with nauseous. N a u. S C I O U S. That is incorrect. Fuck! That is incorrect. Oh! All right, Brown. Shit, for the, I, it's, for the dude, it's hard. I can see it in my eye. I can see it there, but it's I can just see not. it in my eyes, he said. It is uh, hard. I'm difficult. Nauseous. Um, Let me know if you need in a sentence again. No, I don't. That's okay. N A U S I O U S. Incorrect. Oh, you were very close, Matt. It's E O U S, not I O U S. Oh, oh, oh. All right, oh, boys. Here one, we dude. go. Man. Next word. I'm being dumb. Sorry. No, yes. that's a hard one. Elephant, Michael. Ooh. Oh, this one's <laughs> oh, shit. Fucked. Elephant. <laughs> Matt Brown chased down an elephant after not having came for three days. Okay, this should be... I haven't spelt this for a long time, but it should just be pretty easy. I'm going to go with elephant. E-L-E-P-H-A-N-T. Elephant. Yeah, that's what I was going. Ding! That is correct. All right, Matt, to stay in the hunt. Oh, man, this is... This is library. Oh. Matt Brown never goes to the library because he's too busy <laughs> having sex with prostitutes. This is easy. Stop. All right, library. L I B R A R Y. Fuck, how did you know that? Ding! That is correct. Well, my heart is pounding. <laughs> this is the most nervous I've been on this show. I'm running out of words. I didn't think you guys would get this. <laughs> <laughs> So what is it? Like two. It's all. still zero zero. Oh, okay. No, it's yeah. You can well, two, or you can point. call it two all. How okay. dare you take all right, the okay, two all. Our hard work. So it's whoever wins the next one. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> wow. This all is right, crazy. Michael. Your word. Pronunciation. Oh fuck you. The pronunciation of the word confused poor Michael, and Matt Brown pounced on the vulnerable Michael and dragged him into his bedroom, where he stripped his clothes, poured cream all over his carpet, and rolled him around, similar to a spider catching its prey, then put him on the bed and penetrated his ass. Holy fuck, this word's tough. Pronunciation. P R U N U N C E A T I O N Pronunciation I think you got that 
incorrect. That is a, a long, long way off. Like a long way. And the fact that you said you think he's got it, it makes me very worried for you. We are all now dumber for having heard that spelling. All right, Matt Brown. Pronunciation. Let me know if you need it in a sentence. No. Shut up. Okay. P R O U N C I A T I O N. I don't. I don't understand how you can be that far off, both of you. That was nowhere. That that would have spelled like pronunciation or some shit. How's it spelled? No. It's P R O Pro Nun N U N Pronunciation. Pronunciation. So I should have just replaced the U with the O. I did P R U. I'm confused. Said pronounce. Yeah. I, I, no, but there was something pronounce. else in there with you as well. There was something else <laughs> fucked at the end. It's C I A T I O N, not C E. Yeah, Bozzy, it's okay. I know. It's scary that they're not spelling well. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna get fucking oh, roasted. Man, this is fucking <laughs> we're gonna easy. get so man, roasted. Is hard. All right, let's let's continue to move. Michael, your next word. <laughs> dilate. Oh, oh fuck. fucking hell! Matt Brown's eyes dilate when he sees a living, breathing creature with an injury. Dilate. Dilate. D I A L A T E. Dilate. That's what I was going to go. Incorrect. Oh that is incorrect. Oh, oh, here no. we go. Here we go. All right, Matt Brown, oh, this no. is for the win. For the win. Th that's exactly what I was going to go. All oh. right. Well, do you want me to use it in a sentence? No, it's oh, pointless. All right. Can't be. I can't believe I've lost this. I, I, I have you lost it? Because you're about to win. How? I don't know what to do. I know. I just right. wanted to give you false confidence. Ah. Freak. <laughs> it, oh, it's going to be. <laughs> Stupid boy. Hurry up. All right. Oh, this is going to be wrong. Uh, D I A L A I T. <laughs> oh. Dilate. D I L A T E. Man, you put that A in there like a fuck with. The way he fucking pronounced it's like pronounced. That's German, That's German shit. Yeah, he's Germaning it and it's becoming difficult for All us. Right. Yeah, I'm with you, Michael. Next word, Michael. Man, please. Is liquefy. Oh, oh shit, dude. I'll use oh. it in a sentence. <laughs> Matt Brown will liquefy your insides if you let him penetrate you. You've got it. Liquefy. L I Q. U-I-F-Y Liquify That's what I would go and, and I can't give anything away And Though that is incorrect uh, I, I can't give any I can't tell you how close or far away you were Because it may give Matt hints Matt, your turn Liquify Do you want me to use it in a sentence? No, pointless I don't know I don't even know L-I-Q I-F-Y Always a Q. There's always a U after Q, man. Oh, <laughs> Liquify. L I Q U E F Y. Wow. You said I. I would have very yeah, close. I, was, I, was going I can't I. believe there's an E. I thought it was an I. I. Still think it's an I, even though that's not that's wrong. I still believe it's an I. We could be here for a while. Yeah, I, I don't know whether to like go harder or easier. <laughs> Let's try. No, you're at a good level. I think we'll, we'll nail one soon. Man, All right. All okay. right, Michael. Prostitute. I'll use it in a sentence. Matt Brown cornered 15 prostitutes, fenced them in with wooden stakes, and played heavy metal music at them for 15 hours straight before ravaging them at five minutes past midnight in some sort of Satan ritual. Prostitute. Prostitute. P R O S. T I T U T E. Prostitute. He's got it. That's correct. That is correct. Yes, baby. <sighs> Fuck. All right. I've won. Should have gone first. I can't believe I've won. Because <laughs> <laughs> then the pressure's on. <laughs> you freak. <laughs> yes. Matt Brown. I've won. You've lost. This is going to be 8 3 after this, dickhead. Sorry. Intelligence. <sighs> the prostitute. 
attitudes showed great intelligence to outsmart Matthew Brown, dropping crumbs and tampons to throw his scent off. Uh, Intelligence. This is impossible for even I, me, let alone you. I know you'll get this wrong. Well, let's just go for it. Um, think one L. Shh. Yeah, he is in my head. Now it's ruined me. You can't do that. No, see, now I'll call. Now I'll call oh, foul. Oh, man, I'm happy. I've won. I want to suck I your little you balls. Won. I want to pop your little testicles. Oh, you, shh, I need to think. No, you can't. Uh, now he's fucking me. I didn't fuck with you. I know you. It's called winning. And I'm about to. Bitch. <sighs> so shiny. Intelligence. I N T E L E. G E N C. I did it. It's wow. double L dickhead. Ha, ha, Intelligence. Ha. I N T E double L I G E N C. Oh man. <sighs> wow. Michael is up eight, three now. Eight, three. That's crazy. Fuck mate. You got a lot of catching up to do. And I'll tell you what, man, there are, I have seen some of the subjects coming up and there is one. I think you will kill it in. Oh, so proud of movies. Oh. Shut up. Oh. So close to winning. Oh, man, right? I must say, I feel good. I'm like almost triple you. That is oh, fucking nice. crazy. Yeah, what did I say? 8-3, is yeah. it? Oh, wow, Matt. Come on. Come on. Like, wow. Yeah. All right. Fuck, we must move along. It's time. We're going to have a very quick bong break. And then when we return. Dude, dude, you've had two bong breaks. Just yeah, it's wait. a fucking high, it's high, high fucking, fuck fucking like elk hunt. A fucking elk hunt. Just wait. We're going to have a very quick but deep bong break and be back with Maitland and Jess, the concrete, the concrete creators. <laughs> And we're back. And looky, looky who we have joining us. What's going on, if, friends? If it isn't Maitland and Jess, content creators from Brisbane who make silly little prank videos and little silly little vlogs and now silly little family videos, don't you? Because you've spat out a kid and you've got a little son hanging around somewhere, don't you? Yeah, I don't know where he is. There's a pile of babies over there. We've lost he him. He's probably in and amongst them. So Your last name is going to be Hanley soon. Uh, probably in the next 10 years. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it did take him a while to propose, didn't it? No, look, this was the thing, okay? I said that I would propose after seven years, like to myself a long time ago. I was like, okay, I wait seven, seven years. years? My lucky number, okay? So if someone can last seven years with me, it's a keeper. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I said the, the seven-year mark was where it's at. Shit went down, obviously, during the whole COVID period and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, I watched that vlog. That was very fucked up, all that shit that yeah. happened. Yeah, that yeah. was hectic, dude. Mm, yeah. So you had a string of bad luck, right? And, you, and how much money did you lose on those fucking dog cunts? Uh, at the end, I think lost in total. I think it was like 20 something, 20 something grand and, or something. Whoa. You had no idea, Jess, that all of this was going on. Um, not really. So you just thought knew, Maitland would be just stressed. walking around fucking angry and you'd be just well like, oh yeah, that's that's just Maitland. <laughs> that's normal. <laughs> <laughs> He's a grumpy old man already. <laughs> I better not say anything or he'll hit me again. <laughs> <laughs> she hits me. Explain <laughs> the story. So, so basically you, you organized the trip of all trips. Mm-hmm. To the Maldives. Uh, it's actually the Maldives, guys. Don't so in 2020, yeah. you had this trip planned. Of the, it's the greatest trip ever. Yeah. But then we all shut down for uh, the flu. Yeah. And basically then explain. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Uh, yeah, basically 2020 COVID happened. I had planned uh, the, the whole proposal thing in the Maldives where I would take Jess over there. Blah, blah blah. We have a great time. It's so fun. We don't have any kids. We're just young, fun people. Uh, take some pingers, right? Take yeah, some fucking oh, exactly, exactly yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and then yeah, it, the COVID thing happened. Literally, the day that we were meant to be flying out. This is the fuck thing. The day we were meant to be flying out, I got a text message. Sorry, 
10 minutes before we were leaving yeah, we our house. we had like our bags packed. Oh, like, so you knew you were going somewhere. I knew, yes, she knew yeah. she was going somewhere. I knew at the time. Like oh. I had my bags packed. We were literally going to the car and we got the message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Saying I was like, that- that saying was- that my flights had been cancelled and I was like, you're fucking kidding. So I've got like, cause I was recording all the footage as well for Facebook back then too. So I've got all the old footage of like me being like, okay, yeah, cool. Blah, blah, blah. Getting the tickets. And then me getting the message and like, yeah, it's, I, I watched it back and I was like, fuck one, my beard looked disgusting. I was so homeless, but two, like it, the, the emotions, I guess it was pretty crazy. Just. And yeah. then you're just like, oh, well, if I can't get married, I might as well have a fucking kid. That is and exactly then off you went happened. to work. It was was is, was ours in an accident or was that planned? It was planned. Oh really? So you guys were like fuck I it, let's have a kid. For that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> I, I always said to Jess that we'd have a kid when like I was ready when when I had all the career and everything sorted out. And I knew what I wanted to do with life, and um, yeah, and then that happened obviously. Jess, with did, social did, media. Did you know Jess that he was going to propose the male love? Surely you must have had an inkling. Come on now. This one right now yeah a little bit what about the one three years ago when you went sort of because he always said he knew the exact date and i know seven he was like his lucky number so so you oh. knew oh my god so oh. of, did you know i am may 7th that's my birthday may 7th yeah that's got nothing to do with yeah. anything why that would just you happened. say that dude you the sevens and yeah thrown. i've actually got three sevens tattooed Fuck <laughs> <on my ear>. <laughs> <laughs> i kind of maitland don't like does. you it's mainly no yeah, yeah I do. anyway so yeah now 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 you're there you the trip happens but you had all the fuck arounds right so you basically you lost money on the accommodation because mm-hmm. it was all through flight center or some shit yeah yeah yeah. we lost no it was like third party so like flight center went through another company called Entire travel, yeah, fuck it. Uh, so entire travel is fucked. <laughs> so <laughs> never ever, ever book with entire travel. And not travel, only that, entire travel, leave them a scalding review on Google, <laughs> Google reviews, one star, and say that their staff has been sexually harassing you, very illegal, they're involved in the drug trade, and you've seen them kill puppies. Look, I'm going to be honest, like, at the end of the day, it only happened because, like, I finally... Like they did agree to it finally in the end. They still stole fucking 14, 20. If there was like, okay, imagine who's the lady that booked it for you? I don't know. Do you have a vision of her? No. I went through like, I shit you not, went through like maybe 10 people. All right, well, let's just say one of those 10 people in front of you right now, you get a free hit. Would you do it? They would die. Okay. Would you do it though? Well, you see me around house gig. Yeah, that's right. cool. A jaw would fall. Yeah. So, so, so cool. what's it like now being, is it, you know, because everyone's always like, um, oh, like, you know, oh, yeah, I'll have a kid one day and then they'll have a kid. And they're like, oh, my God, it's the best thing ever. Like, seriously, you don't know what it's like. Blah, 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 blah. Is it actually like that? Is it like, has it changed your <laughs> life now? Or is that all just fucking horse shit that people think that they have to say because they've got a kid now? Yeah, no, Eisen's a little shit sometimes. Yeah, oh, but like, but yeah. but has it changed your your perspective on life now? Like, hundred percent. So it does do that. One hundred and ten. So you care more. less about like work shit about other shit. Oh. You care less. Well, you about work. <laughs> oh no, you oh, always fuck? care a lot about work, but you take time now. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Whereas previously, you would neglect your family to no end. Oh yeah, he's but still, now he still does. He neglects everyone else but Eisen. Is it hard to like get to gym and shit and do things that you want? To, like, I'm scared that when I have a kid, I'm never ever going to play golf again. No, Mela went to gym this morning. <laughs> but golf, golf takes like four hours. <laughs> so, um, I still go to MMA and shit. So, like every well, like four four nights a week or whatever, three nights a week, oh, I go okay. train for oh. three hang out with or four the hours. hang out with the boys three four hours a day. You just need to find balance. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So having a baby is it's still possible to still work, but obviously you have it's to work. Harder. You have to work less though. Then right? Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. It's so much See, harder. That's what like, fucking scares the shit so, out of me. No, yeah. It, it will be. It will be very hard to try and get shit done. Like you always have to be on top of things. You know what I mean? You yeah. always have to be watching out for your kid and just knowing where they are at all times. Yeah. You like if there was like if there was a kid here right around, now, if they're, they're, like, if they're around, you'd have to be paying be attention to them. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, wow. Because you never know so what's going to happen. You, you know never I mean? know even where they're around. No, yeah. no. There could be a child amongst us well, right now. To be fair, yeah. I always know. Like I can always feel his presence. So like yeah. if he was here now, you're you connected. Know. It's like heartstrings. They just yeah. know. And you always, as soon as you see the kid in the room, you make sure you give it attention. You just, whoa, 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 whoa. I and immediately you. start breastfeeding it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 
So, so how, when did when did you guys meet? By the way, high school, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah high school. What year? What what year? I think year nine, but Maitland says year ten. And and like, what were you guys like? Were you guys like, was Maitland like the jock at school? He was like, oh, fuck, <laughs> look at me, yeah, fuck, yeah, fuck, and I'm wagging school today and smoking man. Nah, he was, and Jess was like the. <laughs> Jess was like the like the cheerleader, the, the pretty, the pretty like the nerdy like she had like pigtails and glasses, uh-huh. and the shy girl. And Maitland like made a bet with his mates. He's like, <laughs> bet you I could fucking turn her into the hot chick. Boys, watch this shit, I've dickhead. Seen this like Greece, that's not Greece at all. Oh. Yeah, fucking of course. I don't think Matt it's she's all that either. No, it's not. Isn't that? No, I, think, I think there's like 50 movies with that. Well, Bring It On. Okay, Remember yeah. the movie Bring It On? That was a movie but too. But anyway, what happened at school? <laughs> Maitland was a chubby... Fuck <laughs> off. Oh, oh, really? Maitland oh, was oh, a little... Oh. And Jess was the cheerleader and Jess was like, Oi, bitches, well, I bet you I can make that guy high. <laughs> <laughs> I can make him skinny. Um, no, no, no. When, when I met Jess, I wasn't fat. Before that, I was fucking fat. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was chubby. You were fat. Did you have too well, many like, Cheetos? I wouldn't say like fat, man, fat, but I, I was definitely What was definitely your favourite food? I didn't know that about you, man. <laughs> hey? what, what was your favourite food? Nachos is still my favourite food, dude. But when you were a little chubby bubby. Day. Noodles. Um, what are you, why are you telling me what my favourite food was when I was fat? You, you didn't even know me. You this all the time that you, <coughs> you used to eat it. I like migraine. Yeah, there we go. Man, yeah, I man, watched a video good. on migraine. Apparently it's so hard to digest those noodles. The, no, yeah, the, the oil they use is palm oil, which is yeah. one of the hardest to digest. <laughs> yeah, right, sorry. All right, sorry, so okay. so so what were you, so what was the dynamic like at school? Were you so guys Jess, in the same was, same class? Uh, we were in the same like form class, so like we'd meet each other at the start of the day. I I never really got to school. When I did go to school, I got there at like I don't know half hour after it started. So then I'd see her for like five minutes, and then we'd go our separate ways. But she was in like the footy group. She was super cool. Blah blah blah. So Jess was like the cool chick at school. Super cool, the coolest. And like if you ask anyone, if anyone from school's watching this right now, you know she was the coolest. And Maitland, you were like, oh my god, I hope I'm like popular <laughs> enough one day that she knows who I am. <laughs> w- was that you, that guy? No, I was. Um, it's funny because when I was at school, uh, I would hang out like with different groups. So like every now and then I'd go and like spend time with her group or whatever. But then I would go and smoke a lot of bongs as well and spend time with. Those Do you want people. a bong? No, no. Okay. You've changed your Thank ways you. a lot. Hey, you used to be a bit of a fucking fucking drug drug head. Very early on, I find. <laughs> Did, very early, like like I, I don't know many people who are doing bongs in high school. Yeah, well, it was different time when was we grew up a little bit earlier. But I swear, now like man, bongs are everything. Yeah, it's so true. I had, weed, vaping. I had weed for the first time on the weekend, and uh, I didn't have a panic attack. So my mental health must be oh, improving. Well done. Anyway, back to you guys. So who made the first move? Like, like, did you, Jess, being the popular, attractive high school, like cheerleader chick, see Mayland, the fat, fat noodle sucking <laughs> cunt in the corner and go and, and think, oh, like have that. Was there something, something there? Like, smile, like well, surely Sorry. something happened. So that's why Maitland says that we met in year 10 because that's when I first like seen him and thought he was attractive. And then Maitland was still chubby in year nine. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. So she, what she's okay. saying is she's shallow as fuck. <laughs> she didn't even see me when I was fat. Well, well, walking you think through, he'd see I you bumped, more. You I know. Yeah. I bumped into her in the <laughs> corridor, and she's like, she wiped it off. <laughs> anyway, well, look. and then who started talking to who first? I think we both did. Are Don't you, do, you, do we both walk up to each other? Hey, hey. Do you remember the <laughs> first time, like our first conversation? Yeah, it was so magical. Um, I it was like <laughs> Beyonce was playing in the background. Don't you? No, not at all. <laughs> and, so, and then what? You guys just started chatting, became friends, and then you were like, "Oh, can I grab your number?" <laughs> I thought you were gonna say something. I was like, "Can I grab your tits?" Yeah, yeah. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> and no, then, um, it was yeah. We we're just at high school, and um, yeah, I just used to whenever I came to the group or whatever, I'd flirt. Hey, Jeff. And oh, then yeah. and then what? And then you guys, you went to a little party, you had a few drinks, and then you hooked up one night, and the boom, the rest is history. Exactly. Did you ever take her out? What was the first date? Like the Pizza. movies or Domino's? Eagle I was Boys. Say Domino. Yep. Eagle oh. Boys. Yeah, Eagle Boys down the road from my house. Took her there. She didn't eat anything because she was scared to eat in front of me. Um, <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. 
Mom's and weird like that. She doesn't like taking big bites. She only has little bites of things early on, <laughs> but now she'll eat properly. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> now, just, now just has like fucking, like, we have spaghetti or some shit. She has 20 yeah. fucking. She eats it like a pelican. Oh, dude. <laughs> chew it. Yeah, it's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> she can't digest anything. Oh, who man. said, and then you guys started dating, and then, um, and then who said, I love you first? Maitland, well, he had this thing saying, la. Because he didn't want to say love. So yeah. he say la you, la you bae. Yeah. La you bae. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so bad, but Maitland did. And so he said, la you. And then <laughs> Jess, you said, la you back. <laughs> yeah. I la you a long time, baby. I think I, I think I would have said love first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd assume so, yeah. And then, and then what, so what does your parents think of each other? Does, mm-hmm. does your, do your parents love Maitland? Do Maitland's parents love you as well? Are they, is it all... Very, very good. It's been, yeah, over the years, yep. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a difficult thing. I was always so, I've been pretty good with parents, but Mon's parents, Mon's family's just fucking legendary, thank yeah. fuck. Yeah, but like, it's always lucky. scary when, because your parents and Amber's parents met recently and Mon's fa- family and my mum and stepdad met as well. And it's like, it's always like a bit like, fuck, how's this going to work out? How was yours? Fine. They yeah, got mine was heaps, so heaps good. good. Well, all yeah. our, all I couldn't parents, ask for better. Yeah, in yeah it, it so went so well, thank God. Both our families are split. So like yeah. both our parents are split. Imagine um, if your mum got with your dad and your dad got with your mum. I've thought about it. You should it. force yeah, that. Be, yeah. Uh, or get the mums to hook up and the dads to hook up. <clears throat> and then we could be brother and sister. Oh yeah. man, that'd be sick. That'd yeah. be so odd. That'd be pretty cool. Matt Brown, calm down, <laughs> yeah, Matt. <laughs> Where's your glasses? <laughs> wow, well, um, what else is, it? well, yeah. So back to the Melda, I just want to get through my, this is, it just looks so exciting. There was a slide there. Oh, yeah. They had a slide <clears throat> at their, their hotel, right? And it's on an island. You can see through holes in the the, the floor to look through to the ocean. Dude, it was, yeah, was unreal. Amazing. How many nights were you there? We're only there for like three, three nights. Um, wow. It was originally it was four nights, but because of all the fuck arounds and stuff like that, over the years that the hotel had gone up in price and shit. So all up, like it, it cost like over sixty grand all up just for the three nights. Um, so yeah, I just I I didn't want to add another night in either because of Eisen and stuff like that. And yeah, yeah so. It's and hard and so, so when you guys started getting together, you know, you both had your separate jobs and then all of a sudden Maitland woke up and was like, you know what, I want to start making videos. What mm. did you think about that, Jess? <laughs> I hated it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because with my, my girlfriend before Mon as well, because we were dirt poor, I was like borrowing her car to Uber on weekends. Like I looked like shit. I'd eat like one $5 Domino's you pizza a day. You much better now. Because I was just such a fat... Just fucking unhealthy, poor, just had to borrow money off her. So she was also like, stop the video shit. A lot of people were, so I get it. Mm. So you were you were like that too. You were yeah. like, don't fucking even but go when down did, that route. When did you start making content? Um, we were late with that. We we'll, we'll yeah, probably sell like 24. 20, 25 I was, yeah. No, so but I mean, eight, eight years ago. Eight so, years ago. So um, in fucking 20, 2015. Well, I was super late then. Well, I was, I was only like five years ago. Right? I think like, cause back then too, I wasn't being myself either. Like it was real cringy. Mm. So. Yeah. Well, it's hard to find your, your, mm. your niche. It takes a while. <coughs> yeah. So you were against it and then. Yeah, I hated it. And then what, at what stage was it like, oh, this is, this is, is actually a good idea. When I started fucking making money. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the money makes well, it. Well, we had you come edit and film for us yeah, 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 first. Yeah. But were you making money from your own shit before then? A little <clears> bit, you were. You were still making Yeah, money. I was making a little bit of money, but not really. Like, yeah. Because um, I started doing all the pranks and shit more when I started hanging out with you guys. Uh, I was still doing skits and shit when I was hanging out with you guys as well. And then, yeah, transitioned more into the pranks and stuff. And Yeah, I remember you working and then eventually you phased your work out. You're working less and less at, at that the factory. factory. And yeah, then yeah, eventually yeah. you could go full time social media, and then it was like fuck yeah. That's like when like when people are like, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that because like I have a job and shit like that. Like I used to work fucking how how much was like I was doing like twelve hour days, five days a week or six days a week, um, and then still I'd come home and I'd I'd edit or I'd film or some shit. Isn't that funny, so, Matt? That someone has a full time job and then also <laughs> creates content on the side. <laughs> Yes, yes, this is a direct attack on you oh, sorry, and your work man. ethic. 
<laughs> anyway, sorry. Yeah, man. Anyway, I did that. I did that for ages, and then a new job, same thing. New job, same thing. And yeah, I just kept cutting down hours uh, and getting different jobs. Like I went at Woolies when I was working for you guys, and that was just casual warehousing and shit. So it was good money, but I could also lower the hours and do you know edit your shit or whatever. And then um, <clears throat> when did you start getting into it, Jess? Where you were like, oh fuck, that seems like a fucking sick life. I want to fucking do that shit too. We started actually when COVID hit. So mm. when we oh is that when out. you started making vids? Yep. What yep. were you doing before that? Um, social media at Maitland's mum's gym. So I was doing the social media. Uh, oh yeah, so yeah. you could like sort of dip your toes in it, and that's yeah. how you sort of figured it out. Yep. Well, that's good. It's a good story about that actually was the the time that we started Maitland X Jess. Perfect fucking timing. Okay, so it's when COVID um, like was just beginning. The March was when COVID like went into full swing lockdowns happened and shit like that works were closing down and shit left and right february we were in new zealand and i was like oh like i could see shit happening i was like and i could see like analytics wise videos were starting to get a bit fucked and stuff and i was like oh okay we need to like i, I need to think of something else and then i was worried for jess too because i like i was starting to see works were starting to close and stuff like that and so we were in new zealand and i was like we should we should do like a couples thing and then that might be able to get you out of doing what you're doing as well just in case like shit does hit the fan um and yeah like i'm not gonna say i predicted covid i predicted covid wow wow yeah holy fuck that's crazy just like a lot of people did remember no yeah, just me yeah. well look end of the day there's trees there's plants there's people there's bugs there's houses there's countries there's land well said, Michael. And and just to just to add on that, um, what would you say the hardest thing about being a content creator is? The hardest I thing. I think just the stress. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> 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 the climate. I think like the stress, like money. Like yeah, you don't it is know, stressful. You don't know isn't when it? it's going to stop. You don't like. Yeah, you well, you guys will just... know, like when you start hiring staff and shit, that's probably the most stressful. You start hiring staff, especially when they're family or friends and stuff like that. And you have to make sure that you're keeping on top of everything to be able to provide for your family, their family. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's a very public thing. Like usually if there's a business isn't doing well, not everyone knows about it. Whereas if if an, if you're if you're a content creator and your shit starts going down, everyone knows about it too. The so views there's and shit. Constant pressure, mm. and 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 there's no there's no CEO or someone that can take in and take over a company. Once a content creator goes, everything else is fucking gone. So there's just a constant just stress that just presses and squeezes you and that's why so many content creators burn out and put a fucking shotgun in their mouth or their heart they start stressing about heart stuff yeah exactly right <laughs> so what would you say your favorite video is that you've ever done oh dude uh a vlog hands down a vlog the pranks are fun and all but also like they just get so repetitive and shit you know what i mean like if you're doing pranks constantly oh, it just fucking it starts it. to get on the nerves but vlogs hands down i fucking love them like any vlog that i make i enjoy but i think the Meldives one was probably up there um yeah no fuck it the, Mel the Meldives trip is probably my favorite one it's the most yeah. work i put in it took me like six days and just yeah it was man i want to go there just from seeing that place i was like holy mm. shit it looks so good and that's what makes the video good bro if you see the video and you're like oh i want to go there because i made it look good <laughs> you made I, it so wants you. to say something say hello huh Eisen. Oh shit, my son's here. Oh, we didn't see you there, mate. Wait, is this your first time coming in? <laughs> All right. Hi. All right, a couple more questions, guys. So, um, <clears throat> so, and this is for both of you, all right? If, Maitland, if you had to kill Jess or Eisen, who would you kill? <laughs> and how would you do it? And then same for you, Jess, if you had to kill how? Maitland or Eisen, you, how would you do it? Okay, did you want to start? <laughs> Yeah, we've already discussed this. <laughs> <laughs> I would kill Maitland. <laughs> That's fine. Um, how though? I haven't thought about this. This is our normal conversations at night when we get bored. <laughs> um, you haven't told me how yet though, so this will be interesting. Maybe like something peaceful, so it's not that bad. Thank maybe you. like drowning. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> well, I have to do it, man. That's <laughs> not peaceful. <laughs> Turning would be maybe just like like over to over like shit loads of sleeping pills, and then when he's asleep, then gently roll him into the water. But if you're holding him under the water the whole time, <laughs> that's not gonna be very peaceful. <laughs> that's not very peaceful. I'd definitely kill Jess, but I think like it'd be more something like um. Yeah, I'm ready for this. 
Whoa. Go on. <laughs> I was going to be real chill. So, like, it's late at night, okay? We're driving home. Oh, You're I drunk as fuck. I don't drink, dude. Oh. I want heroin. So, <laughs> we're driving home. I've just had a couple of doses of heroin. I've said to Jess, hey, can you please go out and get the stick out from the, the light? Because there's a stick in the light. She walks out, okay? She goes in front of the car. I'm, oh, actually, can you check under the car? She walks, walks. She crawls under the car. I drive. Boom, 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 boom. I've hit her with a lot of wheels because semi truck. Then she's just maimed though. She's still alive. Walking behind. What do I have to do? Chuck that baby in reverse. It's a truck. It's hard to drive. I'm in reverse now. I'm going backwards real fast. Like re- not that fast. It's a truck. Uh, I hit her again. And then she's basically unconscious, but you still see movement. She's still alive. She's yeah. like Stephen Hawking. <laughs> she's she's now well. like Stephen Hawking. <laughs> she's doing well. You should keep her. I find out she's smart first. If she's gotten smarter because she has less body movement, now it's all in her brain. Has to use all brain power. If she's gotten smarter, she can make us more money. All right? If she then you kill them, Eisen. So I, if she's Stephen Hawking, her, then you kill Eisen. But if she's not Stephen Hawking's, then you continue to kill her. I'm just going to be fair. I'm just going to shoot you in the head. All right. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair and just. Yeah. Quick and easy. <laughs> yeah. Not quick. Yeah, like a bit I'll, faster I'll than miss. the first He'll one. He'll start though. at your foot and then work his way up your body. It's like jiu jitsu. You start at the feet and make your way up. Oh, very good. All right. I always like leaving on a question of how to murder. Mm. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, um, thank you very much for coming on. And um, guys, if you haven't seen their content, Maitland X Jess on Facebook, on YouTube, Maitland Hanley on Facebook and YouTube. They've even got Instagrams and um, and uh, uh, TikToks. They've got TikToks as well. Find them on all platforms and give it a look. And Young and Dumb if you want to buy some merch. And have a look at Eyes and Grow Up. Okay, everyone? Have a look at Eyes and Grow Up. Aren't you interested in seeing a small boy grow up over a very long period of time? <laughs> Man, it's going to be so good for him. Imagine when he's like 18, he's going to see the progression of him. And yeah, I know. Like, he can look back shit. and be like, fuck, no I can't believe that. you subjugated me to being in front of a camera for all yeah, those years of my life and I really didn't up. want to. He'll get so fucked up. He'll probably <laughs> be on cocaine time. and yeah. stuff like that. <laughs> Macaulay Corkin. Anyway. He's so famous. He's like, I didn't choose this yeah. camera. Yeah. I didn't fucking choose this life. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm dude, so glad. Home Alone 5. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just Home Alone. <laughs> Where is he now? I, I, I haven't I don't seen know. him the yeah, whole time. Not sure. Yeah. Maybe I'll go find him. All right, guys, we're going to have a very quick bong break and say goodbye to our guests and we'll be right back. <laughs> 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 Weren't, wasn't that great, Matt? What? Maitland and Jess, they've just left. Sorry. Do you want another bong? Yep. Bong break. All right, guys. I hate fucking losing that. It is time <laughs> for... <sighs> Matt, are you ready? Are you ready to change your life for the better oh, and be yes. more positive, Matt Brown? It's Tinder Adventures with Matthew Brown. I don't know which one the Tinder is. I can't believe it. T-I-N-D-O, we have Matt's Tinder. Ha, ha, ha. Matthew Brown has lost control. Now these women will lose their souls. <laughs> that is the Tinder jingle. And this is a segment where Matt and I have taken over Matt's Tinder because he's shit at finding chicks. And so we're going to do it for him. And I go through Tinder pretending to be Matt Brown and have conversations with these women. And now we're going to read them live to show Matt how easy it is. I've sent how many women through an extra three women, your phone number this week. And one's wanted to catch up with a date with you tomorrow. Be honest. Tell him, yeah, we didn't showed she? the photo of one that we gave the Nobody number. Nobody wants to catch up with me for a date. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, didn't we you gave get a the text? number. Didn't you I get haven't a... gotten any texts except for that one. That's what James call. told me. I thought maybe he had a... We showed a photo of one that we gave his number away to and he denied it very quickly. Look, Matt, this you is can't, working. Beggars can't be choosers. Yes, they can. 
Look, well, even <laughs> even though he's 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 choosy, he, I'm sending every week. I'm not kidding. This is working. I'm sending him two or three women to his Snapchat or his phone. It's happening every oh, week. Oh yeah. I've so like- we will continue. This is much better than that fucking shit segment last year with Bachelor Brown because this is actually working. That was one woman a week. This is like fucking fifty a week. I'm going through and funneling to his. Actually, I disagree. Thick stick. I disagree because I went on a walking date with Jasmine. And I met Isla. So that's more yeah, successful. This, than yeah, yeah. So talking far. about fucking 40 episodes. We're only bloody three episodes into this, all right? Sorry. sorry the, Give it time. Stats don't lie. Give it time. All right. Here we go. Your first conversation. Also, stop giving out my number without checking with me. <laughs> also, I've got like six people have added me to Snapchat and I haven't added any of them. See? Why? Six people. It's even Someone, more. I'm just not doing it. Why? Because you won't show me photos. Why? You're sending me in the dark. Man, I reckon you should just, you should definitely just put a ring on one of them. After what you showed me today, you guys have. What was wrong with her, Matt? No hope of getting me to agree to anything. What was wrong with that girl? Prefer not to say. (laughs) Oh, Brown. My Brown. You need another Brown. Brown. Make that girl your Brown. Brown. All right, where's one we can start with here? All right, here we go. Look, this. remember that pretty girl um, I showed you? And you were like, oh, wow, she's actually quite pretty. The one I said, can you try with that one? Yes, okay. that one, exactly. This oh, is wow. what's happened. So oh, Matt starts the oh. conversation. What's wrong? And then she replies, <clears throat> with me? Yeah, like what's the catch here? Oh, I don't know, know if I'm supposed to laugh or not, but there, but isn't one, there isn't one, but I could create one. I just drew a really detailed pic of a man giving birth to a fully horned horse and he's holding an axe above his head because he knows it's an abomination of nature. It's pretty artistic. I can show it to you this weekend. I found that the fastest way to get to know someone is by going to the beach and getting sucked out into the ocean in a rip together. Can you or not? Just be honest. Oh, fucking hell. Look, if I didn't have plans this weekend, I would definitely be interested in seeing the drawing. However... (laughs) The ocean thing, maybe not. I just feel like that's a situation you should only find yourself in with people you you really trust. <clears throat> uh, yeah, the drawing is making people get upset and angry with me. It evokes like an intense negative energy. It's sick as. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please tell me she did not write back. <laughs> yeah, getting sucked out into the endless ocean with a panicking, screaming stranger would be such a sick, unique date. I honestly think it's worth trying. And she has no reply. <laughs> I thought you were going to try. <laughs> Dude, I nearly that got you a fucking, fucking date. horrible. <laughs> I nearly got you a date. Imagine getting sucked out in a rip for your first date. Yeah, that'd be fine. You'd, you'd really get to she know someone. Be, you are the <laughs> biggest piece of shit, man. <laughs> you'd really get to know someone quickly, though, wouldn't you? You'd know, like, yeah, you'd know their values and because it's life or death. Oh, yeah. Didn't, didn't <laughs> Brown got, remember when Brown yeah. got sucked yeah, out? Yeah, you did me. well. And it you did me. well. I was fine because I, I, grew, I grew up at the beach. So I'm okay with it. But, yeah, Mono was out swimming and he goes, we're in trouble. And he started yelling out for help. So I... I my poor decision while I and because I was fr- he's my friend, I swam to him, and um and as soon as I got to him, he like clinched onto my arm, and I took all my strength to hold my at myself and him up, and uh, and then some surfers came and he swam to the surfers and I was gassed. It would be scary. I nearly. I was saying, yeah, we nearly fucking. I nearly Man, fucking would drowned. you do a fucking competition where we go out to who can go the furthest out in the ocean? Yeah, I've pitched that to you before. That's, That's insane. A fucking horrible. But I probably yeah. wouldn't get very far though. You'd probably. Uh, yeah, I'd be a. I'd bitch out pretty about quick. Like shark. Sorry. Next anyway, time. let's fucking Sorry. move move along. Enough yeah, with let's hear with more the, of how you fucked my dating life. <clears throat> All right, this. I had to quit cool. my Tinder. I don't know if I said that last time. I've completely shut down my other Tinder. Because yeah, I've been getting matches from people who've already matched you. So um, I mean, you got why do you have two Tinder accounts? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, let's fucking move on. All right, here we go. Tabby, Matt starts the conversation. Can I see her? I glued my shin bone to my chest. Such a wild night. I got dragged down the road too. I'm a dirty little princess. It's hectic. Where's your house? Oh fuck! Oh, oh fuck! Lol. Good eye catching starter of the conversation. Oh. Well, are you sure you want to know where the pri- where this princess lives? Uh, I don't catching know eyes is a special skill of mine. I've had them thrown at me at great speeds, and yeah, it would be cool to know your address so I could drive by and look through your windows and shit. 
Ha <laughs> ha, fair enough. My address will be a story for another day. That is, there will be one, winking face. How's your week going? My gills fluttered like a butterfly's wings when I read that. <laughs> oh, I'm hassling my mother and telling her to shit in the shower. She gets so freaked out, it's stylish. <laughs> she did not reply to that, but I think I can save it. Don't worry. Is she a pretty? Yeah, she's quite pretty, yeah. Can I have look, a look? Look, we always do this. No, let's just move on, all right? <sighs> Fuck. You and you're looking. I just want to see. Just listen. Oh, man. All right, Matt had good. a really... Matt started... This was a strong one to start with. Her name's Eve. Oh, so Matt starts with... <clears throat> create something for me. Even just an acrostic poem would be enough to swell my ankles. And so her acrostic poem is... So I would like to try, although my moral compass says no, or rather it says take pause... And consider f that, in fact, I am not a chat GPT. Oh, how did I go? Don't you enjoy a meticulously crafted, not rhythmic poem? Is that what she said? Yeah. Yeah, can you unmatch that? Just listen. Uh, fuck that. You always ruin the conversations. Yeah, now people have lost stupid. their train of thought. I actually foamed from my gills a bit reading it. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Mine's this. <laughs> Brock Rustash, Broxton, where are you? Siptilish Froxog. And that, yeah, she didn't write back to that, did she? That is stupid. She, she did not reply to that. <laughs> Brock Rustash, Broxton, where are you? Septil, Septilish Froxog. <laughs> That's not fine. That's a That's a crossing poem. Backstop stick It's all in capitals. <laughs> like he's yelling at <laughs> It's like half English, <laughs> half gibberish. Thinks <laughs> he's being artistic. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> she just read that and didn't reply. Just, oh, no, that's enough of that. <laughs> that's, oh, so, that's the best one you've done yet, dude. That is the best one you've done. <laughs> right. That was stupid. Here we go. This okay. one's called... This, this lady's just t titled C. <laughs> Can you say it one more time? I can't, I can't. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, <clears throat> Matt oh. starts the conversation with, fully forgot my nephew's birthday today. Family's so pissed at me. Do you ever do coke? <laughs> and she did not reply. Oh. Fuck. Was she pretty? Um, no, she was. Oh, look, I'm, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to no, judge these. No, she wasn't that good. All right. This girl is called Sarah Jessica. <clears throat> I love your spirit so badly. I sense a closeness between us. It's so hectic and shit and weird and shit. Do you sleep in? I get up at like 4 p.m. Some days it's hectic as shit. Oh. Lol, a first message that says shit three times. How interesting. Yeah, what about the other words I used? I said I said I three times as well. I shit three times. I feel so comfortable with you. It's making me scratch my scalp really hard. Oh. Hey, what's your fave word? <laughs> I guess that is so. I'm really enjoying our convo. I feel like I can just be myself around you. It's so rare for me. Hey, <laughs> do you have a fax machine? I just drew the funniest picture of a man giving birth to a horse and I want to show you. Damn, it's out of power. I can have an etch -a sketch so you can always redraw it for me. Look, enough with the small talk. I want to get to know you deeply. When's the last time you cried and why? Like a few little tears or like heartache sobbed? A full blown sob with like snot bubbling out and phlegm strands stretching it around your mouth. And then she replied something quite sad, so I don't feel comfortable re reading on. And then, oh, please. And then I. Um, please. So she told the truth. Uh, yeah, she, well, she just said that her father passed away. And then, oh. and then recently, and I was like, oh, I'm actually really sorry. And then I left that at that. Yeah. Oh, that's very mature bit. of you. Because it was you should have given the acrostic poem. Imagine <laughs> <laughs> saying that after that. I could have helped. 
Oh, she went. Busted <laughs> glass flour. <laughs> <laughs> Can we please send that to her? No. <laughs> please. <laughs> you have to read that again before this segment's oh, over at the end. It's not right, fun. Right, 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 here we go. This is good one. All right, here we go. <coughs> oh. Kirsty. <clears throat> and she starts this conversation, so you know it's going to be good. Hey there. How are you? Wax my back today, and there's always little bits of wax I can't reach. Then my shirt sticks to them, and it makes me so fucking angry. <laughs> Like I'm talking full rage, hey? <laughs> my face goes red and I scream and nearly pass out and shit. My knuckles are bleeding, but I don't really care because I'm used to intense pain. Hey, do you watch Home and Away? Oh my God. <laughs> what did I just read? Oh, sorry. Sometimes I ramble when I'm smoked meth, but Home and Away is pretty sick. Remember when Alf Stewart hit his wife? Fucking intense episode. Uh, still smoking meth? No, I only do it like two or three times a week. I'm careful with it. I don't want it to become a problem. Have you ever tried it? It's like having pure happiness flood your brain like the, that tidal wave that hit Bali or whatever. Ever seen Limitless the movie? I'm kind of like that on meth. Smart decision. Wouldn't want to have an addiction and message people these crazy messages all the time. <laughs> yeah, just three to five times a week and it is enough for me. I find you so intriguing. What was the last argument you had? A... <clears throat> what was the last argument you had about and who was in it? I want all the details, please. <laughs> Good idea. Still need to be able to function in life. Look, I don't know how I'm intriguing when we've only spoken about meth. I don't really argue with people, so I don't really have any details for you either. So apart from meth, getting up too much? It's just intriguing that you aren't being intriguing. There's not many people out <laughs> oh. there that choose to not be intriguing anymore, and it's just refreshing and intriguing. Oh. <laughs> My last argument was oh. three days ago, and I fully got in this guy's face because he thought I cut in line at the post office, when really I just left the line briefly to grab a pen. Oh. It, got, it got so fucking heated, hey. I was like, whoa, I could fully have smashed that cunt if I felt like it. Huge big slits in my gills, too. <laughs> I think you should become a writer. Oh, that's so funny that you said that. My dad was actually a poet. You know, Twinkle Twinkle Little Stars? He used to read that to me. <laughs> Thanks for the laugh. You sound like the perfect person to be around for a laugh. Oh, uh, yeah, if I had any friends, they would definitely say that too, I reckon. <laughs> I'm squelching fresh dog shit in my hands to freak out the neighbors. They fully left the park. <laughs> she didn't reply. No reply. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. Uh, I think she's a lost cause. Who would reply to half the messages you just sent? Yeah, she does sound like she's desperate. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, Lisa has opened the conversation with, that is quite some profile bio. <laughs> if you think that's crazy, you should see my arms after I was attacked by a pit bull two days ago. Only just got out of hospital. It was hectic as fucking shit. I was fully screaming for help for like six minutes. One of my arms, you could see my bones and my jaw broke from screaming so hard. That is quite a shitty start to the weekend. Are you okay? To be honest, I'm having some anxiety about it all. I've never even realized that I use my arms for so many things. I literally used to think arms were just fucking pointless, hanging weird things. But like, I get it now. They're fucking wild as shit and fuck me, it's off chops and shit. Hopefully, hopefully I get function, full function back so I can go and confront that dog. Could have been worse though. <laughs> have you ever seen Koalas fight? YouTube, it's fucking hectic as fucking shit. Oh. oh, is it weird that I can say I've seen koalas fight? I can't imagine it wouldn't have. It would have been the most pleasant of experiences. Is it bad that my initial inside voice wanted to reply with pics, or it didn't happen? <laughs> no, not weird at all. I used to catch the, the koalas and place them on the on each other's backs just to watch them fight. I've spent so many weekends over the last ten years doing that. It's kind of like my hobby. I had a massive YouTube channel before it got taken down. Yeah, I can send you pics of my arms if you want. How, did, how do I do that on Tinder? You know, that's not the weirdest hobby someone could have. <laughs> ah, see, that's the kicker with Tinder. You can't send pics. Totally makes sense. Means the unsolicited dis dick pics are harder to share. <laughs> I can describe my dick to you if that makes it easier. <laughs> right now, it's kind of soft and curved, resting on my left thigh. My black pubic hair comes up like 80% of the way up my shaft, and the end of my dick is li <laughs> light purple. It's better when it's hard, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and my <laughs> balls are massive, bigger than any other do dude's balls that I've ever seen, and there's been a lot. What about you? <laughs> there's no way she wrote back. 
There's no way. It's purple. Purple little tip <laughs> with the black hair. And she didn't reply? No, oh. she didn't reply to that one. Damn. All right, this girl starts with very playfully. Very playfully, <laughs> might yeah, I add. I bet you fucking ruin it. Fuck, marry, kill. Caitlyn Jenner, John Wayne Gacy, Michael Jackson. <clears throat> Lol, that is such a good way to start a convo, especially with me. You wouldn't even believe the story I have. I'm not indirectly involved, but someone very close is. I'm all ears. My uncle's best mate lived in the US and actually hooked up with Caitlyn Jenner. And I'm pretty sure he killed Michael Jackson. I'm like 90% sure. How crazy. Come on, surely you can do, we can do better than that. Surely. What's a disturbing but funny story someone has told you? If it's good, I'll tell you what happened to my best friend when she was casually dating a guy off this app. That story I told you was on international news. My mum got her breasts scrubbed in public because they found out it was her brother's best friend. They groped her breasts around in circles and kept yelling at her. That, that literally makes f- fuck all sense, but I'll roll with it. <laughs> Why are you up so late? Look, a Michael Jackson fan fan found out that my mum's uncle's best mate was involved with the death of Michael Jackson and groped her breasts in in public in a circular motion. She was so traumatized for ages, but the guy ended up doing a few months' time for it. Wild, hey. I was up because there's a certain flower that only blooms at night, and I wanted to draw it. It only comes from a cactus. Have you ever drawn anything before? Oh. What, What color? Oh. Well, my brother's friend's uncle's cousin's kid won a competition to go to the Neverland Met Bubbles, the psychotic chimpanzee. You're untamable. I love that you have an artistic touch. I used to draw a lot when I was in lockup just to get a lot out of my system. Freeform scribbles, Banksy-style art. Occasional artistic hate mail to people I hated because I hated them. Do you know any languages? What's a day in the life of a podcaster like? Blah, blah, blah. (laughs) (laughs) And yeah, I can speak some German and believe it or not, I can understand what dogs want. I wouldn't say I speak their language, but I can definitely communicate with them. I nearly went on a current affair, the TV show for it once, but they stopped replying to my emails. Go on then. Speak German. Blah, blah, blah. Ich bin sehr groß. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's with the defensiveness, Asta? <clears throat> oh, oh there, don't be thinking. So I said in German, I am oh. gross. And she replies, Oh, there, there. Don't be thinking you're gross, Matt, sweetheart. Sometimes I cry about lost little kittens in the world all alone with no kitten gang to be a part of. You speak German? What the fuck? Why don't you fucking say anything? I understand some German words only because it's mixed in Yiddish. I'm a mysterious Jew. So hot. I want to know everything about you now. What's your bra size? And that was today. <laughs> so that, that still, so yeah, that that's still a chance. P- okay, cool. Yeah. Still a chance. Even though you were quite oh, rude to her. Blah, blah, blah. It's fucking yeah, gold. Blah, blah, blah. It's very good. Holy shit. Uh, so there are just a couple of screenshots here, just a couple of messages and replies for, to, for conversations for you guys to look forward to hopefully next week when these conversations progress. God. So this girl says, Hello, Sir Brown. Princess Beck curtsies to the royalty that receives this message. So oh. she's referring to you, saying oh. that you're the King Brown in your bio. That's pretty cool. You said I'm King Brown in my bio? Yeah, yeah, just listen. King Brown offers his hand to young Princess Beck, and she kisses his rings. King Brown beckons to a seat at his royal brown table, and they take a seat. So, Princess Beck, what brings you to my brown castle? And that was literally right before this podcast. Oh, so we'll I'm see what happens for that. Exciting, oh, I can yeah, see that exciting. leading to like role play where yeah. he tears his asshole apart <laughs> again. All right. So this girl again messaged first. Hi, Matt. <clears throat> and Matt replies, so many fucking flies on my chicken. I can't even eat a chicken sandwich outside anymore without having like 80 flies buzzing around me. It's so frustrating. I can't help tensing my neck. What's the most, what's the most you've ever been swollen? So we'll see we'll see what that progresses to. That could be something. Here's another one that I think has potential. She replies she messages first. Hey uh, how are you? Just chipped my tooth standing behind a fucking horse that bucked. I'm so angry right now. I probably shouldn't even be on Tinder. I need to calm down. Stupid fucking horses. They don't even do anything. You can't eat them. You can't milk them. You can't teach them any tricks. Cars are way faster. What's the fucking point of the dumb cunts? Just massive dumb animals. 
Anyway, sorry. It's just frustrating. <laughs> Fucking shit tails too. They're just basically just long hair. Like they don't even have feet. They're fucking rocks or some shit instead. <laughs> My mouth is so swollen. Fucking dumb fucking horse shit, man. How are you? <laughs> she wrote back. That is fucking I good. Just That's before. <laughs> Oh. That is one of the best ones yet. <laughs> like a kid. Like a kid is just so angry. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> All right. Uh, this one is one where I gave her your number. Hey, Matt, I'm Flick. Well, why does it say your name is Fel? Is that a... Is that a bot or a hacker? Usually super hot chicks are just bot bots and shit. Let me guess. You've got an OnlyFans you want me to subscribe to? Fell for Felicity, but get get called Flick and OnlyFans page? Yeah, right. No need for such talk. I'm 40 years old and have self-respect. Good luck. Oh, holy shit. You're a real person? Fuck. I fully stood up in my office and was like, looks like I got another bot on Tinder and sat back down. <laughs> a few people laughed, but most kind of ignored me. Oh, it was hectic. <laughs> so what's the funniest tragedy you've ever seen? Fuck. <laughs> I'm definitely real and, to, and too old for games or to be fake. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Funny prick. Shut up, flick. Funniest tragedy. Jeez. I, I'll think about that that the biggest tragedy for me would probably be getting on this website lol oh, oh. oh true mine would probably be watching a truckload of sheep driving on the highway and the back door popped open and all the sheep just started pouring out onto the highway at like 120 kilometers an hour oh, it was hectic oh, she didn't write back to no, she did yeah. she what? did and she said oh my god you're mad haha <laughs> i'm going to try to delete account if you want to chat more and then send her fucking phone number oh wow Oh fuck yeah! But she does sound a, like she a bit annoying. So annoying. But fuck, that is good. That, <laughs> I just imagine that. Imagine seeing all these sheep just pour out on the highway. Um, Kim, wait before you finish this, I need to hear that fucking acoustic ball again, dude. Fuck Rustache, Brogstone, where are you? Septicialish, fuck sag. <laughs> That giggled a bit. <laughs> the last part's the best. <laughs> oh, oh my god. That so, is so good. <laughs> another week down and another number in the book, Matt Brown. Oh she hasn't messaged me. <laughs> Fuck that's the fast. Where are you? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> he, he thought that was an acrostic ball. <laughs> she, she, she didn't reply. That is some of the best shit I've ever heard, dude. <laughs> oh, oh my god, man. I'm crying. Oh, oh, See, man? Oh, oh my god, I love it's all it. It's working, man. It's that. not even. How's that even working? You got numbers. I did not. I got. Apparently, I got number. Oh. And it was from <sighs> Flick. Who oh. sounded horrible. Oh, man. I hate it. That is oh. so good. That is so fucking good, dude. <laughs> I want to get that tattooed on me. I want that as my ringtone. I want that in my life. That's the spell of my like soul. Are you high? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> Man, I fucking love that, dude. All right, sorry, I just had to. Why are they fucking? I love that fucking poem so much. Thank you, thank you for creating that. Oh, that is fucking. I'm gonna just listen to the back to that always. <laughs> Should make it your ringtone. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Your, your poem has brought such joy. <laughs> dude, can we hear I one, get it. one more time, it please. One more, one more time. Well, no, it won't be funny <laughs> if I do it again. Oh, it, oh. it has to, it has to be replayed oh. by the viewers. Oh, oh, oh my god, dude. Well, look, we're getting there, Matt. We're slowly no, we're getting there. We're not getting anywhere. 
Oh. All right, let's move her along. Let's move right along. Okay, we got a little list for a few little things left to do. Isn't that right? <laughs> let's do let's do Q and A. But before the Q and A, bong bong break bong bong And we're back. Questions and answers. Questions and answers. We'll have a question and answer with you as you sit and you watch and you smoke all your billy bongs. We'll have a question and answer with you. Oh, that's that's so disgusting. <laughs> That's what I do with my jingle. All right, guys, if you want us to answer your question, please comment down on the Mighty Michael Fully Actual YouTube channel. We answer the most likes questions first, and we go down the fucking list, all right? So if you have a scroll through and like the other questions you want us to answer, and I might take this opportunity to please ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. Pr fucking smash that subscribe button. Fucking <laughs> king hit it in the back, in the base of the skull, dropping it to its knees, and continue to stomp its skull. Really fuck that like, and the subscribe button. I really fucking smush it to piece, cunt, and fucking stomp that five-star review you fucking thing on Spotify too because he's been staring at your girlfriend's tits all night and he fucking deserves an elbow that can't bar a tish car alright first question is from Nuck uh, which website episode are you the most ashamed of probably the Jackson <sighs> the, the date with uh, Julian and Jackson where Michael and I the, the had to try and make them throw up yeah there was a bit of shame after that one and there's been a few where there's been like just straight out shame. The popcorn one the other day was a bit shameful when we were sitting out there just going, feeling through our own shit. Oh, I don't mind that. Yeah, I know. So yeah, they, look, there's been a few moments where it's like, man, I don't know if like, like I just picture like, picture like the worst person in the world seeing it. Or I, sometimes I worry like, oh, what if... Uh, you know when Esther's in high school or something one of her friends is like yeah, look at your fucking sick fuck dad yeah well man let's just not let's just not think about that but then I'll just say to her like money no I'll be like, I'll just tell her the intent of everything we do is to get a laugh so as long as the intention is good comedy is subjective Matt Brown thinks the drug is, fu is fucking hilarious cut that Connor we can't do it we can't do it <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to stay fucking not all right just bleep it kind of don't cut it because i really like matt's reaction to it just bleep bleep my words <laughs> look at how he stares he's trying to like imagine if he's going I for can't hold the, he's I can't going hold the computer for, like that, he's then. going for the audition for the lion king <laughs> that's how it wraps up. the musical <laughs> <laughs> and that's how he rocks up. <laughs> Go on. Next question is from Matt C. Uh, does Matt know mince was taken from the bottle? Yeah. I do now. Yeah, you got you found. I didn't at first. Yeah, yeah just uh, there's an actually that was a bit of shame. If you want to go back to the old question, when we let's just say that man, it's weird knowing that you've had Matt Brown's mince mince in your eyes. But I don't feel as ashamed about that because it was your idea to do that. I kind of yeah. had no choice to go through that. So I don't feel as much shame. But like, yeah. It fully stings. Like It stinks as well. We can't really say C-U-M, even though we say it heaps. But his mints stung my eyes and I did not like that. And that felt shame. It has been in there for over a year. Yeah, yeah I know. And then I started thinking bacterial eye diseases. I hope you so. Know? Man, that's one thing I can, like, when we did what we did. Oh, actually, we shouldn't because it hasn't come out yet. That was a bit of shame, too. There, Actually, there is a shitload of shame. Yeah, <laughs> we're, since we're moving away from more pain, we're doing more gross. And so there is a bit of shame involved in the gross sometimes. But so, yeah, thank you, Matt. But the reason why Matt Brown's mince bowl has been reduced in volume is because there was some taken out for a stunt in a website video. So, Which followed Cullen Marshall's question: Why does a mince bottle look like it's shrinking? That's there you go. Then answer that question. Watch your website vids. You know what? <laughs> Sorry, Matt's reading. 
Okay, Rainy is a lion. That would be like the really like out the back line in his pride. Next question is from Hunter Height. Um, question for the pod: Has Matt ever ran into a previous have on a dating app? Um, I think I feel like I have. I haven't Surely got any good stories have. for it though. Um, Statistically, you just would have. I've definitely like oh, accidentally man. matched with them and then not realized who it was, and then I've unmatched them. Um, I just had a thought. Imagine if I like matched with someone like that Matt knows really well, like his mum. No, no, like someone that he dated for a while, like that knows him quite well, and then I start speaking like that. It's <laughs> fucking crazy. I need to give you a list of people from work in uh, case. They yeah, no. If, well. if whenever they do say that, but they might not. No, I've had one chick already be like, oh, go along the lines of, oh, we've matched again or something like oh, that okay. and speak like she knew you. And I immediately sent her a picture of my dick. Oh. <laughs> That's good. Oh. Oh, Hunter Height also followed that up with a question saying, will the brown ever find love? Here's what I think that out of your fucking cunt. <laughs> There's your fucking love. That's the love you fucking get, you cunt. <laughs> hey, fucking someone clip that and put that on fucking YouTube. You fucking cunt. <laughs> oh, snippy, snippy. Very good. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Look, maybe. But there's a high chance, probably not. Look, I think I think I answered that question perfectly. Yeah. He'll find a, a bunch of gas with I gaps. You were about in to it. say a bunch of gay. <laughs> really? A bunch of gas gaps. But yeah, there you go. Next wow. question is from Langa. Um, how many likes would it take for you boys to <laughs> smoke DMT on the podcast? We were talking about this the other day. Man, that's a good way to look at it. How many likes? Look, if this podcast look like what what, what would because you, you know on average we say we get like. Five hundred to a thousand. There's no fucking way. Am I going what, back what, there? So you, wait. So are, are you telling me that if we got one million likes on a podcast, which would blow our fucking careers yeah, yeah, out of the water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. that's what I'm saying. So let's start there and work down to what an, accept, an acceptable number is to you. Five hundred likes. <laughs> five hundred likes. We get five hundred likes. I'm joking. <laughs> Cooper just left. Yeah, Cooper, there goes See Ryan. You, Ryan. Too. Bye Ryan, bye Ryan. Um, look, I, ten thousand. You wouldn't break through though. You haven't broken through to the. I'll, I'll try realm. my very best. I'll try my very best. And like, if you do, you go. Uh, 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 and uh, none of this is live either. If you do something weird and get your cock out, we can just cut it. <laughs> we fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we fucking. Hang on, am I going to be strapped in spit? this? Hey. So, am I so do you do DMT? In, strapped in this? I'll do it. Okay, okay, fuck it. You can't I'll do it up in drug tests because it's already in your body. I'll do it if Matt does it. How many likes would you do it for, Matt? And just honestly think he about can't this. He can't, he can't smoke a bong, though. No, he won't break just, through. Yeah, but just try. I we know just, how to smoke a bong. Yeah, but I can't see you fucking pulling it well. And not Bring a, it on. Only, not only that. <laughs> I reckon I could pull better bongs than you. I guarantee. I've got the lungs to do it. But wait, smoking. wait, Matt. <laughs> DMT, does, to get personal. DMT doesn't show up in drug tests. That's a promise because it's... And it's fucking... It's not even illegal, I think. Look, let's just answer the question. Okay. So let's well, well, let's start. Let's, I'll throw a number out there. 10,000 likes. Yeah. That's huge. I want 50. 50,000 likes. We don't get the fucking views. Look. Then we don't get the damn time. How about, let's go realistic. 5,000 likes. If everyone You're shared. You're scary, dude, because yeah, that's very achievable. People. It's everyone shared. If everyone that watches shared it, um, there's a high chance. How the yeah, fuck do you track, track that? You can't track You're being untrack. I reckon, okay, 10,000 likes and we'll do it. I agree. 10,000 likes I on will, a podcast I will and halve, we'll do it. I'll halve it to 25,000. It's not going to happen. It's imp oh, right. well, Matt can That's look right. after us then. Ten thousand likes, and Michael oh, and man, I I'd will love smoke to see DMT. Matt on DMT. Hit, man, hit, I'll, I'll go twenty. I'll probably. Oh fuck, man! It will be. There we go. It will be scary. All right. we'll do, I'll do it first. All right, it's settled. It's settled. If it hits ten thousand likes on this podcast or any, no, on just any podcast. Okay, so any podcast gets ten thousand. You guys will do it. If it hits twenty thousand, I will join in with them. 
Okay, what about this podcast? Should we just say ten thousand? Just, just yeah. Well, I'm not, I, I really don't want to do it. So yeah, like yeah, ten thousand. All right, let's because we know that that won't happen. We did get ten thousand views. Yeah, yeah. I know. imagine if everyone liked it, then we yeah, then, that then would then never like, wow. that would never happen. But yeah, okay, ten thousand. If this podcast gets ten thousand likes, we'll smoke DMT. And if any podcast in the future gets ten thousand likes. We'll smoke DMT on the podcast. If things get weird... What if we have to blur it all, though? Yeah, if things get weird... Yeah, we, we do, do but we then cover? after you've smoked, just get rid of the bong, and then you're like... Uh, oh, yeah, okay, uh, all right. And then we'll talk about what we saw. Then we see God. All right, next oh, question. Oh, fuck it. I'll do it with 10,000. Okay, yes. Yeah. Now I'm, I'm keen if you're in, because it's like, oh, Brown's first time. I want to be yeah, there Yeah, I'll him. do it. Yeah, fuck it. And it'll, oh man, I love, him. I love, man, imagine Marty, you breaking through and you're just not the same anymore. It's come I back. I just never come back. <laughs> you're just really serious when you come back. <laughs> man, that's the thing. It is life changing shit anyway. Right. Next question is from Captain Falcon. Uh, is the video of Marty repeatedly yelling, Matt? Yeah, keep okay, going. Is it coming? Mm. Oh, get in, go. Get in out of the way. Come on. Show me. Slow it down. Everyone be silent. It's not much. It's not much. That's why I took my headphones off slowly. Oh, I nearly blacked out. I nearly blacked out. I nearly blacked out. I blacked. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh man, that was they're yeah, coming back, yeah, dude. dude. It happened while we were twitching the other yeah, night. Yeah, we were twitching in the night, and he was out of control. Matt oh, and I twitched way. on Saturday night. Yeah, if you want to see us live or more content, go to our Twitch, Marty and Michael. It's kind of like our podcast, just well, not we're just really, questions. but it's just us, our dynamic, playing games and 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 talking shit. And, and yeah. usually Friday, Arvo to evenings, and sometimes throughout the week or weekend. Who knows? Yeah, Marty and Marty, Michael on Twitch. Me and Marty jumped on, and Marty could not stop farting. It was yeah. crazy. Yeah, wow. Everyone was cheering that. me on. It's, it's a awesome. great time. When Matt kept like talking that. about that girl he had sex with that he doesn't want to talk about in case she hears about her. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> all right, next question. Oh, that's all the questions. All right, well, no, let's move on. Yeah, the cheesecake shop girl. Matt... She was lovely. Um, he wanted her to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, sorry. So the question was from Captain Falcon. Is the video of Marty repeati- repeatedly yelling Matt down while you're playing golf on your website? Is that on your website? I no, it's no, not. That it's wasn't Snapchat. an extended. That no, was, no. no, that was... Look, that was just like 20 Instagram stories that I was like, this is one of the funniest things I've ever seen. So I just downloaded them all, stuck it together and put it on Facebook. That wasn't a website. He it's on... Was- Facebook or Instagram? I think it's on the Instagram on that. Yeah, yeah, Instagram, Instagram and Facebook and, and the TikTok. main. Was it main yeah. Facebook? I can't even remember. He said he'd pay good money for it. Do you know somebody pulled over to me on? Oh, the it's street. on our highlights in on Instagram as well. You just go to highlights. I had a I had a person pull over to me on the street, and we looked at each other, and then he just started yelling, "Mad down." Out the window. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> very, very funny. Attack Matt if you see him. No, All right, what's the next me. question? Uh, next question is from William uh, Batru- Batruni. Batruni? Batroni? Uh, Batroning where he's from. Um, has Mon ever caught Marty on Matt's Tinder and got a little sus? Yeah, I told Mon straight away. Sometimes she sits with me in bed and, um, and I write w- with her sitting next to me and she's pisses herself laughing so i know she's totally fine with it and like it's not it's not like it's me it's it's pictures of matt that i think that they're talking to me they they think that they're, they're talking to the matt brown but yeah all right final questions from ray c 303 um would you guys consider using the rest of those hot gummy bears as a final punishment in a chip or hit i fucking i had to do a really hot chili for a website video last week and I hate it. I fucking cannot stand it. It sucks for so long. And it's just, it's not like, like that cool. Like there's no, like what, it doesn't, like, there's no visual part to it. You just see someone eat something and they go, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's really, but it's, isn't it strange though? How many people really love seeing other people in chili pain? Like it's really, it always does well. Yeah. People do it all the time. Oh, but like, it's in just because like you know, I don't get it either. I don't no, get the it reason either. why people do it is because they know they're not going to die from it. No one's going to face a nail gun because it's like you, yeah, but no, but like even but more. Everyone than, eats chilies. No, they like chili even more than like hitting someone with a stick and shit. Like chili shit always does well. I mean, I agree. I don't. I don't get why people think the chili stuff is crazy. It just burns your mouth. 
But people fucking think it's like crazy. I fucking hate you. But you, so yeah, we will do that. I remember when I ate like 70. Yeah, you swallowed them like tablets. No. All right. That's question. I think I've got a present. Oh, he stuck it up. You should do that. That sound was fucking. I was different. He plugged it. Oh. I can put Michael's mic right, right in. Can you smell that? <laughs> he always has a sniff after. Right. Fucking hell, I made it. All it's right. Like my kid. Matt what? loves a movie. Michael thinks he's groovy. Matt loves a movie. Which one will it be today? Hey, Matt. I love that your bit at the end there, Matt. That was fucking, yeah. it really adds to it. Great All right, boy. Matt, what movie did you give Michael to listen to? Uh, the Usual Suspects. The Usual Suspects. Was it? Was it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, Matt, what do you give it out of 10? I fucking love it. So, I'm, I, I don't I, need notes for this. I've got it in my head. Oh, I give it at least uh, eight and a half. All right. Eight and a half out of 10. All it right, is Michael, a bit old, but eight and a half. What did you think of um, The Usual Suspects? How can you say that that is eight and a half? It is, it was honestly like an hour and, f- it was my least fate. The Fast and the Furious is like, no, no, 10 times better than this. Wow. That's oh bullshit. God. I know you're not, I don't believe that. What no. about the twist at the end? Oh, yeah, whatever. Fucking like, blah, blah, Every, blah. Uh, more people, more of your fans would disagree with you. It's on shit. That. Okay. Like, Oh man, it's just office. It's them being, you know, the blue. It's blue. You, have you ever seen? It's blue, blue healers. healers. It's blue healers. Oh, I hated blue healers, man. I never watched blue. I would <laughs> rather watch like fucking all of the series of blue healers ever made than that again. It was so boring. Give me a scene that you didn't like. Um, Did you okay. actually watch it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, when they're the back, the interviews. They go back to the interview and Kevin Spacey, fucking. Asking for cigarettes and thinking he's all fucking arty arty with his little hair and Kobayashi. and then the ending how they have the big shootout on the boat and yeah oh man it was just boring it's just boring what about it, the lineup it was an action yeah yeah that that's so fucking what's that like, mean the actors in it hey no there's a, a lineup scene where they have to oh. pick out the criminal it, you know the Blues Brothers oh yeah yeah it's that that's exactly what the film was have you wow. seen the first Blues Brothers. It's yeah, it's dog shit, and well, this like was 50, dog shit. Fifty cars chasing. It was yeah. it was like fucking um, a lot of just office, a lot of being in the office, and then one final fucking scene of action at the end on a shit boring boat about a made up blah 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 character who they gave a weird name Kabayashi. And man, it was oh. so bad, dude. Like, I hated it more than the fast and the furious it was seriously it was it was there with gremlins like it was just under it was i'd rather watch gremlins wow than that. so michael hates that movie yeah, wow dude i hated it but that's but like what me you saying oh all your website videos are inside we're basically inside all the time that's well, what it's like well, when there's you not all inside that's, most there's a yeah, there's, there's an a even of split out. of outside yeah, no inside. in this one i i reviewed it was all inside <laughs> Yeah, well, Michael didn't like that. Upset me. That's a fair that's point. What that, but that's no, what I you're like. That. I hear that. That's what I you're like. That. I'm taking that on. It was just so. Fu- <laughs> I hate the whole like when there's like an investigation and like there's like this agent trying to figure out shit. It's so like boring. So you don't like investigation movies? It's, it's very predictable. Shit, yeah. It's very predictable, and it's just boring. Like they all just go FBI. Yeah, blah blah. blah. Fuck off. I don't care. All right. So what do you give it out of ten? And here's his answer. All right, so he gives it a that out of 10. It's, no, it's a minus one. Yeah, well, that's what that is. A minus three, one. What, better than Three Musketeers or worse than it, Three Musketeers? Mus- I much prefer the Three Musketeers. Is Three I, Musketeers the best film so far? No, I think... Um, you the, gave it the th- most positive. 300, review, 300 was not bad. It was like a five or I think a five or a six. So I think you had more All positive right. answers for Three Musketeers. All right, like Matt, what are you giving man. for next week? <sighs> um, oh, first off, have you seen Ex Machina? No. Okay, I'm going to deviate from my list. Somebody suggested Ex Machina and I thought you would fucking love it. Will you help him find it? Yeah, it's easy to find. It's very, very popular. Yeah, I think I, I started watching it, but I was hungover, so I um, fell asleep. Threw up. Yeah. 
So I'm down for that. Okay, so Ex sure, Machina is the... Pretty sure I'm going to like it. Yeah. I, I've i got a good feeling about this one. I really hope that you don't like it. Anyway. He'll, he'll, there'll be some bits that he'll hate and he'll be like, upset with some of the moves that the characters do. All right. So come back next week to hear Michael review Ex Machina. All right, now, Matt Brown, it's your turn for a review. Why don't you let everyone know which video you watched on our website and exactly what you thought of it. All Ooh, right, so what did I review? You laugh, you lose part two. Yeah, you laugh, you lose part two. So, all right. Face the camera. I can't. I need to see my notes. Yeah, put it back You've up. Set here. me up bad. Um, so, little one percent is a camera angle on the couch. It's just it's weak. And I think the, we were doing our hands. Yeah, you were. And um, you know, lighting setups just in the living room. We couldn't afford special. tripods back then. Anyway. Yeah. Well, just keep in mind we don't have a budget for this. A very big budget. See, so just that. just com- just accepting. comment on the content itself, not so much what fucking quality cameras we use. To go at me. Yeah, well, uh, fucking. He's I, never had offices. Got, is shit. He Everyone doesn't hate offices. Michael has never mentioned lighting or fucking or he's any of that CGI. shit. He's mentioned CGI, and that's that's similar. different. We don't use CGI. We're not robots. Um, I like how everyone was in charge of cleaning their own stage. Okay, yeah, so yeah. I got a real giggle out of that. Well, that's fair. Um, and it was fair because it was disgusting what happened. Um, I found Julian uh, gave up way too easy. Um especially in the first round. He laughs um, quickly, doesn't yeah, he? Very um very weak stomach for a lot of things. Uh, maybe it's gotten better now, but no yeah, it hasn't. So. Yeah, no, he vomits um, very easily. Uh, Marty forced himself to shit in the first in the first round. That gave me like high anxiety for hemorrhoids mm. and that wasn't enjoyable to watch. Okay, all right, I'll take that on board. That's fair enough. He really like it's like he really pushed hard for the shit. Yeah, look, I really had some stage fright. <laughs> um uh Julian was weak. Um I think the best <laughs> I think the best performance uh out of all of them was Michael's Greek. Um <laughs> wow. That, that really, was a good performance. That really made me laugh and it was very well done. Besides the shit that was in it. Over I would I didn't like was, the shit. Did you like the hidden shit part? I didn't really yeah. talk about yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't notice happened. it. I didn't notice it until halfway through. So yeah, that was good. Yeah, yeah you're he right. didn't poo among the Greek. <laughs> um um, what else do we have here? <laughs> we should show um, that to Christina's family. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, the golly bottle was one of the most disgusting. I already knew that that from like Stories. previews of that, yeah, that what was going to happen. But I never actually watched the full thing. What did you think and, of the flies? Yeah, that was. It was one of the worst things I've ever watched. Um, I'm actually proud I didn't. Of I, I ate at the time and surprisingly distracted around from people around the house that I didn't get to gag too much. But I feel like if I was by myself, that would have been a gag moment. All right, so very um, it evoked powerful emotions. In yeah, it really did. Which is what we um, try. Uh, yeah, the whole video is basically amateurish scat porn, <laughs> like in a not and a not hot version. <laughs> And there's hot versions of scat porn and you guys were not hot. <laughs> um, overall, I uh, wouldn't pay money for that. <laughs> what do you give it out of 10? I give it about a two. Two out of 10. Wow. wow. Right. It's going to be hard to impress him. Michael's performance is definitely, there's like a nine and a half for what he went through. <laughs> But overall video, two. Yeah, all right. Well, look, it's, it'll be interesting to see where Matt's sense of humor lies because we have many different types of videos on the website and the gross shit is a very small percentage of it. We have a lot of other different styles and I feel like Matt will either be... Uh, it might, it might be sketches. The maybe the sketches, yeah. Or, or, the, or the maybe the pain Calvin? shit. I've Cal- seen him laugh at the pain Imagine shit before. Tim and Calvin series. Yeah, you I don't know. I feel like he could go either way. He could really hate the sketches or really like the sketches. Yeah. Sorry. Well, fuck, it's but exciting. the pain shit, I feel like the pain shit he'll, he'll like. Like, because he likes, yeah. I have a feeling that he'll see... When he sees the shock in your face when that nail shoots into your calf oh. muscle, oh. it's hard not to laugh. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, yeah. All right, a- moving on. PO box, boom. <laughs> no, should we do PO box? We've we've yeah, been going well for fucking time. ages. How long have we been going? Should we check the fucking meters on the clock? Ah, 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 ah. Oh my god, that hurt! It is time for the prank, prank, prank call. Go. Your time is there for us to waste. Picking up your phone was your first mistake. Ha 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 ha! It's prank call time. Funny. 
Ashley speaking. Oh, Ash, how you going? Uh, it's me. Okay. To me. Um, what what manager's on um, tomorrow? Do you know what manager's on tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow. I'm not so sure. I can pop you up to... Yeah, yeah, you just, yeah, just pop me yeah. off. Yeah. Hey. Hey, hey, sorry. Hey, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can. How can I help you? Yeah, yeah. Um, I was just wondering what manager's on um, tomorrow. What, who's, it's, it's me. Who, who, what manager's on tomorrow? I'm one of the manager. My name is Angie. Right, right, Angie. Um, yeah, look, I, I don't know, look, um, if I need to talk to her that about that, but I need um, some much shifts changed around um, later this week. Um, Cause lock, I've got um, something's come up, and lock, um, I've injured um, my um, shoulder. I've done my shoulder. I was lock um, playing footy in that, and I've done it, and lock, I can't lock lift. Um, lock, shit up. What was your name? Sorry. Uh, my name, Darren. Darren Thompson. Darren Thompson. Yeah, no, I've just started lock uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, and my shoulder's done, so look, I can't come in um, tomorrow or Friday. I think he's had me rostered on for Friday. Yeah, you must have. Was it from this store? Because we don't have a Darren Thompson in our store. Yeah, no, it must be. What, what's this one, Stafford store, Rod? Which which store is your base store? My base store? What are you talking about, base store? I just work at Barnes, right? They got me out the back doing the garden and stuff. Or hang out with... What, sorry? I'm out with all the garden and stuff, like with the plants and shit, and all the fucking soil, and like the um, like spades and shit like that. Okay, are you able to send your direct leader a uh, work chat? The, well, the work, my phone's dead. My phone's been playing up, so I was just thought I'd call, and I'm just letting you know, like I can't come in tomorrow. Like I, I don't know what the problem is here. Like just roll like a note down. You're a manager tomorrow, right? Just say, Darren, Darren can't come in. Um, get like one of the other fellas, probably fucking Dave or Maddie, to go down and do the garden and shit. Because I like I can't come in and like yeah, I'll let you know yeah. about Friday, but I'll let you know about Friday. Okay, so I'm one of the leaders. So I appreciate if you don't use the swear language to me. Um, what like, was that's just how I number? talk, but like that's just how I talk, but I'm not like swearing at you. That's just like if I say what's your if, number? If I say oh, like, oh fuck, it's windy. Like I'm not like swearing at you. I'm just saying like look at the wind. It's like it's fucking windy. You know what I mean? I'm not starting to get all like being out of shape because like I just need to get your team number. Thank you. My team name, my team name, what I don't even know what you're yeah. saying. Pardon. My team member number that was uh, that was uh, that's lost. Okay, I'm, I'm fucking. I don't know what my team member number is. My phone's dead, so I was just calling you off. My mate's phone. Let you know I can't come in. Not all right. No worries. That's fine. Um, we'll we'll follow up with you. Thanks for calling. Wait, what, what do you mean you follow up with me? Like I'm still sweet to work next weekend. No, I know. What manager's on? I, like I've never even heard. What did you say your name was? Angel. And I never even heard your manager. Who's on? Who's on normally? Because who's on normally? Because that's who I did interview with, and that's who like got me a job and that. Yeah, so I just like um, I can take a call for anyone team member that can't come into work, but I just need to know your team member number so I can relay it to the direct leader. Yeah, well. I'll just just sound, just say like Darren and shit. Like he's don't need no like number and that. Like or give, give me phone number if he's put in like Darren in the my fucking system and shit. Like. Me fucking fine arm, I can't straight yeah. it up. I would, um, when you swing feel a bit better, swing that arm, to me swing in that arm, the the, actually to the actual manager, because you're clearly a fake manager if you don't even know that I'm working there, because I've just been working there two weeks already, and you're telling me I'm not even on the system, lock. Who's fault for that now? You can call me back when you can who's, speak who's to me in the Now, Angie, look, oh, you know what? You're being real rude to me right now, and I'm, I'm about to break down, right? I've just done my shoulder, and you're talking to me about some fucking number. Like, I don't know my, I don't know my work number, all right, but I'll I'll come in on next week, all right? You don't fucking fire me. <sighs> don't fucking fire me, Angie. I, I can't I can't afford to lose this one, all right? I would appreciate if you use um n- not in that sort of, like I don't I understand Angie. you're going through hard times, but I don't appreciate you speaking to me Angie, in that. Angie, I'm part. so sorry, Angie. Look, look, so, I, I'm on my knees right now, Angie. Oh, look. I've gone and I've overreacted, okay? And I'm, I'm being honest with you because I know the Bunnins team is strong and we've got a good bond in that, but I'm just yeah, I'm on, I'm on painkillers. I'm on and hit. then give me a call back in about 
I'm tough a enough. Painkillers and shit that. starts like it's just hard for me yeah. to like be reasonable no right now. I respect you as a person, Angie, and I love you with all my heart. All right, Bunnings uh, is for life, and my family will die for Bunnings. I promise you, I bleed on that store every, to every to morning when the sun moment. comes up. When the sun comes like up, said, my so blood will be splashed across the Bunnings front doors. I love you, Angie. Say it back, please. Please say Just it back. Just give us a call back. Thank you. Bye. All right. All right. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> <laughs> you know, some of you get real angry again in her. Yeah, like, dude, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> dude. That was Angie's a fucking great cow. Yeah, well done, Angie. Yeah, you're done well good, done. Nah, you're a good bird, nah, eh? Nah, 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 Holy right. shit. That was fucking great. Angie. All right, everyone. We'll be back next week. We don't know what guest we'll be back with, or if any, if we don't, there'll be a horoscope back. James, James Lee's next week. Oh, yeah, James Lee next week. Yes. There you go. So, everyone, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, five star review on Spotify. Tell everyone you know about it and do everything that we ever say, please. That would be sick. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, we're the fuck with the best. Best, 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 best,